access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. That means we are now officially in the festive season, aren't we? I think it's allowed now, don't you? In December, I've got tingly fingers. I've just put some. I've just said in the in the in the production area, I said, I've just put some hand cream on because my hands are a bit sore because they get a bit sore at this time of year when it's cold. My dog was out picking up leaves this morning, so it's my own fault. We know gloves, and I've got really. You know when you go tingly hands like they're not your own. I feel like I've got like weird other people's hat. I've tried somebody else's hands on. This could be interesting when I'm picking up things with my tweezers, couldn't it? Yes. Uh huh. Um, so I'm going to start by introducing my Late Show team this evening because they're ace. I've got Leah on cameras. I have got Adam in his lovely check shirt waiting to wave. There they are, waiting for his interesting fact. I've waited three days now, Adam. <laughs> Better be good. Uh, in the gallery, we have the lovely Mike in his pirate jumper. And the beautiful Phil, giving him a cuddle. Oh, yeah, look, it's, it's weird. And, um, <laughs> odd, awkward. Um, and we have a little ray of sunshine to the late show this evening because we have guest designer extraordinaire, the wonderful Hawks woman. Hello, Jen. Hello. I'm How guessing are you, that's Jen? me. I'm good, thanks. How, How are you? you? We're in the festive spirit in black, aren't we? Oh, yeah, always. <laughs> always. <laughs> oh, it's come freshly off the um, era. Mine was freshly off a hanger that I'd forgotten about having this top for about six months. Was this? I do. I was good. nice top actually, Jem. Thanks, hun. Nice top. <laughs> um, anyway, my love, we look like we're miles away on that camera shot. Do it again. Look, we're actually only. It's only like what? Two foot? Three foot? Four foot? Five foot? Four eight foot. foot? He's not eight foot. Yes, it is. No, it, oh no, it isn't. <laughs> oh, yes, it look, is. Look, it's the JM nativity. It's not the panto. <laughs> All right then. So, can I just tell you a couple of things tonight? We have got, we've got some really naughty seed bead deals, really naughty super duo deals, but limited. 
really naughty Magatama deals limited very naughty we've got the stretching rose gold plated and yellow gold plated cat pendant charm that is going to an all-time low low price oh yes very slinky low price um, we've also got little charm carriers we've got the um, clip-on bales which are brilliantly priced um, I've got um, the last chances on a lot of treats for you this evening actually really really lovely um, and um, oh, we've got um, a lovely a trio of cross pendants as well now I know a, a, there's quite a few of you that collect crosses beautiful how light uh, malachite um, what was the other one Jasper, there you go, couldn't remember it, sorry. Uh, coming up on the show tonight. And I tell you what, we've got lots of lovely last chance treats for you tonight. Really, really good. So, um, producer Phil, I want to start with the spacer beads. The what? Hang on, just hang on. I'm sure they do this for a laugh. Just put it just out of our, so you've got to... Uh, you know those little scoochy <laughs> things that they use on the <laughs> snooker table? I need some. We need one of those just to sort of push them along. Well, I think it's like a, no, I think it's like a bit of a joke. It's like, how can we just out of reach? <laughs> I tell you what, tonight, very exciting in the new studio. Double tea bar? Double tea bar? We've never had a double tea bar. It's very exciting. We need to get out more if I'm excited by this. Look at that. We got excited about a double tea bar. It's very exciting. Very exciting. Um, right then, so we're going to start with the um, the cheeky spacer beads, are we, Phil Sedilster? Oh, brand new! Oh, oh, oh. Didn't introduce myself, did I? Zena, if you don't know who I am. They might not know who I am. Some people might not know. I've been on a few times, yeah. Right then, brace yourselves, you monkeys. I'm talking to this lot, not you. You lot are lovely. They're the monkeys. Now, these have never been on air before. So it's their first solo performance, these lovely lot. Um, these are faceted, silver-plated four-mil beads in these. So they're faceted to look like a little glitter ball. Never been on air before. It's a super-duper late-show treat because we like to go uh, very naughty on the late show, don't we? We're going to give you Disco Divas with the glitter ball, the most naughty price on a brand-new treat of two. 95 for a hundred that means each one's less than 3p <laughs> isn't it is that right less than 3p have i done that right That's you right, have less than 3p have faith in thyself lady thank you darling i i, I shall oh <laughs> i don't quite like that <laughs> um yeah so um yeah there's a hundred there that's a that's a jolly good deal isn't it what you because the thing is if you're working with, now I'm going to ask Jem this, but if I would think if you're working with, to me, it makes sense. If you have silver plated wire, silver plated chains, silver plated findings, you keep, you keep all the silver plated in the one set of jewellery and then you'd go for sterling silver in the other. Is that right to give a... I do tend to prefer to keep them separate. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. makes, makes perfect sense. Makes what sense. I also do is a suite of jewellery with the silver plated and then the alternative in the solid sterling now silver. That's a great idea. So you can step it up. Well, here's the such and such. Here's the... And then people have a choice. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we like to give people choices. <laughs> Good. Yes, it's always helpful. Sometimes I think in life these days, there is too much choice. Yes, there is sometimes. When I went to order a new bed a few years ago, I have never been asked so many questions about ordering a bed. Did I want, you know, even down to what material did I want the mattress to be covered in? Who cares? The shit... Because who cares? The sheet's going to be over it. Do you want it with... That's a quilt, not a bed. Do I like a double tog? Oh, you mean an all-seasons duvet, where you have the summer and the winter? Do you mean... Bless him. I like an all-seasons, so that you get the option of three quilts. It's interesting. That was such an interesting question. Thanks, Mike. Um, yeah, I mean, t tell us, what toggle do you like? What toggle do you like on your old cheeky... Uh... I like a three and a half tog, Zena. You like a three and a half tog, I do, do you? yes. So you, I thought it was four and a half. Can you get a three and a half? I'm just making it up. I really no. don't know. Well, I think you'll find it's <laughs> normally, 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 it's a nine, four and a half, studied together, makes a 13 and a half tog. Is the usual. Hmm? Then they go, you've got a 15. 
Oh, what are you hibernating for the winter? I get cold. You get cold. A 15 tog. Anyway, I'm boring myself now. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for this whole conversation, <laughs> treat here, Mike. May I say hello to all our regulars? We've got Kate, we've got in the West Midlands. We've got Helen and Chris, we've got all the regular gang, Mary and Jerry. We've got uh, Melanie and Linda and Lorna and Barbara. Um, Anne-Marie, Sarah, Rebecca, Rita, Deirdre, Collector, Natalia. £2.95. Now, if you were at home now, would you treat yourself to those, Gemma, or not? Oh, I'd have to. They're very sparkly. I love the faceting on them. They are a disco ball, aren't they? They are. They are a disco ball. Just that perfect little touch of sparkle. Mm. Oh, now Tanya's in. I have a duck feather filled quilt. I sleep with the tour year round where the half kicks it off, so it's more quilt for me. Um, yes, goose down, duck down, duck feather. I, mine, I think mine is a Hungarian goose da get down. I went posh. But, yeah, okay. Hungarian goose down. Because they're very light, you see. So even though you've got to be, you know, 13 and a half togs, still nice and light. Can't feel it. It's lovely. I was just trying to remember that one Hungarian thing that I could actually say, which is uh, Eget Shegedra, which... I'm told oh. means to your whole health, which is a, a toast that get. you give. Ege Shegedra. But my mm. pronunciation is probably horrible, and if you're Hungarian and offended, I'm really sorry. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so so we, we're having a Hungarian from Jem, and we're talking a Hungarian goose. Tanya's having duck feather. Very nice. I think duck feather's even more, or more um, posh. I think you'll find Tanya with the posh quilt. Oh, anyway. It's exciting that wasn't it? I'm glad you started that whole conversation, Mike. <sighs> rousing, wasn't it? It was rousing, I said. It was rousing. <laughs> Don't start being filthy at ten past six. Sorry, everybody. Get down the management aunt team today, can't you? You can, can't you? Then the management's not in, you can tell. Um, now then, would you agree, if you've been round the shops, and especially shops that do accessories and things and jewellery, <laughs> or if you go shopping with a Claire into her shop, um, tassels, tassel earrings, even the likes of Shirley Ballason Strictly and Darcy Bustle, they're all wearing tassel earrings. They are. Well, how about we go a bit sexy? Look at these. Ooh. Ooh. What do we think about them then? Those are properly fancy. They're proper fancy because I tell you what, you'd have to, you could make it yourself. Obviously, if you got the if you got the ending to put all your chain in. But there's actually a lot of chain being used there, isn't there? There has. There's several layers. Yeah. Those are absolutely fabulous. Oh, Love they them. Absolutely fabulous. Oh, I like, like those. You look lovely in that top. You need to wear that top again. Very flattering. Thank you. Sorry, I can't be pointed. Very. You need to do this. She's like, I'll do what I like. Thanks. <laughs> No, but you do. You look lovely. You do look lovely. 7.6 gra... Hang on a second. Can we have a moment, everybody that watches The Late Show regularly? L -l 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 -l. Have you just done a workout calculation without being requested by your presenter? Can we mark it on the calendar? <laughs> He's actually... <laughs> normally, don't I have to go, Phil, can you work it out? He's just done that off his head. He's never done that. He's well trained. Well, no, he's not normally. That's the point. He's getting well getting trained. There, there yeah. you go. How do you fancy those for a far, for a pound each? Oh, that's, that's great. Fab. That's great, isn't it? Ooh, that. I tell you what. Would you? And um, can I just bear in mind? Gems just probably noticed they're coming on a fish lock as well. Yeah. I, oh that's yeah. Literally, what I just clocked. I thought you had. I hadn't got to that point. Look, see. You've actually got, so that will clip on. I'll tell you what, you could even clip that onto a key ring if you wanted to. Couldn't you have a posh key ring? Well, don't you think that'd be nice, actually? It'd be gorgeous on a, as a bag charm as well, because oh, they move so nicely. Charm. Oh, no, that is a good idea. Mm. I keep pointing at you tonight. What is wrong with me pointing? I don't know. I never point, do I? It's quite rude in some cultures, but it's I'm not It's terribly offended. rude. I'm sorry, Gem. I've just I don't mind. I, don't, I hate pointing. Oh, I've got a great story to tell you today. I have got a great lady driver conversation to tell you today. Oh, it was at my expense, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, clip on. I'll tell you that in a minute. But clip on. <laughs> a bandage. Oh, in fact, I'm still so embarrassed by it. <laughs> it's really funny. Anyway, 4 95 on those. Um, is everybody loving those, Phil? Because you're not, he's not showing me now. How many have gone already? Gosh, they're going quickly. 
We only had 80 to start, by the way, everybody. What would you do with those, Jim, apart from a bag charm? Well, the first thing I'd do is probably make a lariat chain with them. They'd Ooh, be yeah. an absolutely beautiful end to go yep. through a loop. You could would. use a loop from one of the toggle clasps that we often bring. You could do it interchangeable if you left the, the fishlock on, or you could take the fishlock on and use it somewhere else, couldn't you? You certainly could. It's really multi-purpose and lots of things that yes. are in there. Mm. But I think that's great that they're already on the lock for I you. I think it's great. really easy to use. Yeah. Brilliant. 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 Oh, I don't need to ask you to check out, because you've all done it. You've all... In fact, could you write that down for me, um, Phil Sedilster, please? I'd like those. I really like them. Do you know, I saw a purse today in a shop. It was a very well-known branded purse. And I really liked it. But it was £120. I mean, even my friend went, for a purse? I went, yeah, that's why I didn't. I... Well, it, it is Christmas and my dad keeps saying, what do you want? But I thought, I can't ask me 73-year-old dad for £120 purse, can I? <laughs> Plus, in fact, I don't think I could use a £120 purse. I would feel... A couple of years ago, my friend Sam bought an £800 <gasps> handbag, and at the time, I had a car that cost me £650. Oh, I think I've had a car that's <laughs> worth that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I was terrified of her putting it down in, in a club or a pub. That's the it's thing. Like, Don't is, do yeah, it. Just wear yeah, it all the time. Thought, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus, the fact, I like giving gifts, but I don't like receiving. I'm not very good at receiving. I like the joy Aww. of giving. Much prefer yeah. that. I even treated Amelia and Leah to some cheese today, and that's how treatful I am. Oh, cheese, nice excuse that? me, but listen, cheese with black truffle in it. Ooh. Oh, not just any cheese. She knows how to cheese oh, that Oh, I one. know to cheese treat. <laughs> I've got a box of beers for her in my boot. Haven't I? I've proper treated you today. Would you like me to do some work, Phil? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he said to me four times, would you like to move on? No. I'm quite happy chatting. <laughs> He's just gone, where are you? <laughs> now, I don't know whether Jem's seen this. I've got a sneaky feeling. She might, she might not. Dunno, dunno, dunno. These are brilliant. Now, these are two precious metals. We've gone from the silver plated now to the sterling silver, but with yellow gold over the top, plated on top. It's a beautiful clip-on bag. Have you seen these? I, yes, I have got the silver ones in my bag. I've just picked up my order. Aren't they brilliant? Absolutely fantastic. So many ways you can use them. Can you give us some ideas? Well, absolutely. I mean, what I would be inclined to do is to have a series of pendants that I could attach to that very simply with a jump ring if you wanted to, exactly. or more complex. Yeah. The beauty of the opening mechanism is that you can pop them onto already-made jewellery. So if you've got, for instance, a pearl necklace yep. with some seven or eight mil yep. potato pearls, yep. and you've got a little bit of space between those beads, yeah. which is quite often what happens absolutely. when you're beading with pearls, yep. you can just clip... Brilliant, isn't it? Clip that on, changes the look. You've got yep. two completely change the different pieces. Change the gemstone, change, yep. the, change the birthstone, change the... All sorts of... Absolutely. Hard. And you've only got to take one chain away with you into clever clever now what you do is it's it's really really easy so it's got a little uh, connector at the bottom and then all you do is if i can just come here you come on come on hang on a second i've just put some uh, you might not want to watch this because I've, I've just put cream on so there you go that's it sorry it's because i've just put some cream on i'm not making a try for you quite right like thank you for that <laughs> they're so cheeky <laughs> i don't think i've ever made a trifle actually at 46 no, I'm not making you. I don't fancy that idea. I don't like trifle. I'm not like... Yes, the trouble is... So, I've been asked to make a trifle. I'll be honest. If I'm going to cook or bake, I have to cook or bake something I like myself. Do you know what the I'll, easiest way to make a trifle is? Bottom. You know those little biscuits that aren't biscuits and they aren't cakes, but they're called cakes? Oh, the cakes with the... And they've got chocolate and they've Jaffa. got a bit of an orange Jaffa. bit in them. Yeah. Put those on the bottom of your trifle base, cover it with a tin of fruit. Nice. Smash your jelly over the top. Well, you then, you, there you Boom. go. Boom. You can make the trifle. <laughs> <laughs> well volunteered. Um, yeah, I have to make things I like. Oh, you know, people that go, oh, I made this, I didn't, don't like it. I think, oh, gosh, you're better than me. I wouldn't do that. But anyway, so you just, you, there's, a, there's a little, there's a, you can see there, look, there's a little sort of little kick on the end and you just, you just it's so easy to, um, to undo and do it. And when you actually close it back into position, I don't know whether you'll probably hear it, but you can ha when you get there, there's a, there's a definite there's a definite lock clip into place, and you know that it is really sturdy, and that ain't going to open easily. It's not going to open unless you want it to. Put it that way. 
gold plated 925 sterling silver clip on bail uh, gems like me the second I saw these we both ordered them then didn't we because I've, I've, I've picked up mine uh -huh. yeah <laughs> they're brilliant and £2.95 fantastic now Linda's just oh Lena dot sorry Hi, Azina and Joe and the crew. When are the cats going to be on, please? I'm mad on those cats. Well, I'm not surprised as the crazy cat lady. When are they... Where are they, Phil? I love that when he says it should be on the desk. It's great, you know. Should be on the desk. <laughs> Can you see it on the desk? Oh, do you know what? Are they over by you? <laughs> They're by me. They're over by you. See, I I'm a dog see. person and cats always come to me, so there you go. That there you go. It. It. Thank you, <laughs> Lena. Now, Lena, Lena, uh, the beautiful pussy kittens, the little pussy kittens are... Now, when we're doing those... Dee, 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 dee. Well, I'll tell you what, Phil, are you all right, Lena? Because we're going to do them in half an hour, sweetie. And Lena, 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 guess what? I'll tell you what, should we put them on pre-order for Lena? Yeah, let's oh. put it on pre-order. Right, now Lena, that means, pre-order means you can get them now. So he's, he's going to do it now. So let me give you the code. The gold, now, Lena, Lena, they're going to the lowest price they've ever been to, ever. She, can she see it on the web? They have never been to this price before, ever. Ever. Never been to 6 95 ever. So they are proper low. The rose gold plate that I'm showing you there, code is Z. R R F for Freddy 16 or feline and then the gold plated is R Y R F for feline 95 there's only a hundred of each all right so um, those beautiful stretching little putty kittens um, 6.95 each both the rose gold plated and the yellow gold plated and they're on pre-order right now I think they're a lovely gift. Think how many people have got cats. They're gorgeous. They're yeah. very, very popular. And it's such a yeah. swooshy, lovely, smooth shape. Just yeah. like a langurious cat that's stretching. A what? A cat that's stretching languriously. Langu... What? Is that a word? I believe it's a word. I, I might Say be making again. things up again. Languriously? Languriously? Lang what does that mean? What does that mean? Have you been in the dictionary before you go to bed again? What's that saying words? Words? <laughs> What's that? Can you can you look it up? <laughs> yeah, I want to know what languorously means. <laughs> Have you looked it up? It slouches. Oh, okay. It wasn't condescending at all, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. I just thought... I'll tell you my story in a minute. I'll tell you my story in a minute. Honestly, it was so funny today. We only have ten left. Now, my producer, Phil, this is one of his favourite strands. He utterly adores Amazonite. He's actually sad that this is going to sell out this evening because he said I, he, he just loves it. And the thing is, as well, that wonderful, glorious, unique, knockout, gorgeous colour is... Um, I've seen that trump. And they're unusually large. Amazonite they are as well. They are stunning. Aren't the they silks stunning? inside yeah. are just yeah. amazing. They're incredible. Absolutely incredible. And what's lovely as well about this strand is it's got a lovely graduation. It starts at 8 by 6 and then it grows and into this huge uh, 15 by 9 mil, which for an Amazonite is super sized. Now, we've all talked about this. We feel that the, we have inappropriately, as we are known to do on The Late Show, inappropriately priced that at 9 95 Let's be truthful. You know, I mean, the cheese I bought today, whilst I don't want to give the price away because it was a gift to Leah, do you want cheese? Whole strand of gorgeous natural Amazonite. 100 carats of Amazonite. Well, I'm going to tell Leah a story. Leah, I bought you a fantastic selection of cheese today on a slate board. Bought it. No, hang on, don't get excited. Went through the till. Loads of... Anyway, when I looked at the back, I thought, I'll just check the day. 13th of December, I went up to the till. I said, you can't... No, I know you like cheese. I said, you can't sell a cheese board like that with 13 days on it. Till it expires. That's and the guy, even the guy went, yeah, that's not right, is it? I said, no, I'll have my money back. There's no even you could have eaten that much cheese. 
there was it was ridiculous look at the size of cheese i bought you today there was like 10 of them i was like nah 30 at uh, 13 days we ate all that cheese it was bonkers now well done to sarah or sarah i never know if it's sarah or sarah when it's got because i used to always think if you haven't got an h it's sarah but our sarah sarah elvin says sarah elvin so i'm going to stick with sarah sarah Collectors, uh, Catherine's got the nan. This we've only done the last five, so can I just give a little nudgerama? Sorry, four now. Um, down to we've just been talking about cheese, and somebody's in from Gloucestershire. Mark says langurious means laying around, daydreaming, self indulgent. Lots of love guesses on it, Mark. Excuse me. So basically, you're langurious then because you couldn't even be bothered to look it up, Mike. Doesn't say thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> So laying around, daydreaming, self-indulgent, that does sound like a good description of a cat. It's the word I think of when I think of a cat doing that kind of stretch. Hmm, yes. Um, so may I just mention to those of you with it in your baskets, it is about to sell out. There are, oh sorry, one left. All right, well done, there is one left. I've got to tell you my story in a bit. <laughs> I've got to tell you my story, it's so embarrassing. Uh, right, what would you like to choose? I can choose, ooh! Um, I'm going to go more, oh no, aren't those all star buys? Oh, okay then, I'm going to go for, well, I'm going to go Jade, I, stop being cheeky, Mike, it's been cheeky, it's been cheeky, we have stunning, <coughs> excuse me, it made me choke, they were that big, it shot fright, it made me like, it proper, Please, Jim. Sorry, I'm just going to get some water. Thank you, darling. 10 millimetres of jadeite. Now, you can see when it's a bit lighter green like that. It tends to be from China when it's a bit lighter. Um, Excuse me, I needed a drop of water there, but I didn't realise it was lemon infu infused. Very nice. Um, yeah, so when you go to China uh, for your jadeite, it tends to be a bit of a lighter, paler green. Thank you, Jim, that's very sweet of you. Um, and this is exactly what we've got here, but super sized in colour. Uh, super sized, rather, in, 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 at 10 mil. Super sized, that's just incredible size. Really beautiful. Um, Love to see that with one of those lovely rose gold or yellow gold plated pussycat charms on the end. That'd look lovely. Oh, that would be lovely. A bit indulgent? Uh, yeah, indulgent, but in a very good way because you've got such a high gloss on this jadeite. That's what I was thinking. That the super high polish on those kitty cats That's what would I was be thinking. perfect. I think it would They're look gorgeous. really lovely. Especially, well, gold or the rose gold, either or. Either. Yeah. Yeah. Either, either. You say to do, 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 do. <laughs> Do, do, do you know do, anybody that do, says do. potato? Potato? No, well, I think that was a bit of a... <laughs> yeah, that was a bit... Um, bit of a stretch. Yeah, a bit of a stretch, wasn't it? Um, but, yeah, no, these are absolutely natural. I'm going to show you them on the neckline because they're, as I said, super-sized. Not often do we see a 10 millimeter jadeite, do we? Look at that. And the good news is, to celebrate the first day of the... Because I, I think 1st of December, you're now allowed to talk properly about Christmas, in my opinion. <laughs> I would actually hear a Christmas song on the radio. And buy wrapping paper. Do you think my postman's still wearing shorts? I'd like to just add that. All of my posties is wear postman? shorts. It's, for, it's freezing! <laughs> they do run around quite a lot though, and especially when they're carrying oh, our no, Even so. <laughs> um, we've just saved you £13 on a single strand of jadeite. Now, jadeite at the moment in the industry is, is, seems to be, seems to have skyrocketed in price point. I don't know whether that's because recently in the last couple of years some of these huge sort of jadeite pieces have gone for $10 million at Sotheby's and things. And I think that's really considerably raised the awareness of jadeite and its value. And it's things like that that can impact on, you know, jewellery makers like ourselves. Because suddenly people understand, because not everybody's heard of jadeite. And then when big things like happen like that, have you found that, Gem? Most definitely. Drives the price up, doesn't it, for it, everyday folk? It really does, not it's yeah. not always the, uh, the stories of, of the Sotheby's and the other auction Absolutely, houses. Yeah. There's the poor lady who fainted after she dropped and 
sapped oh, yeah. in half the jadeite bangle yeah. and that makes people so much yeah. more aware of it and when you can bring that to them at a much more affordable Inc price exactly it's amazing because I'll, I'll be honest before i came to jury i never thought i'd be able to afford jadeite never it, for me, it was something that I had seen carved and antique, yeah. and it was a talisman, and yeah. it was beautiful, and it was out of reach, and it's been amazing. Yeah. I mean, I wear mine all the time. You do, so. don't you? Yeah. Well, you and Fleur and Claire yeah. and Deborah, you've all got <laughs> all of them wear jade eye every day. Now, there's a reason for that. It's very calming as well, very meditative. Meditative. Um, so, yeah, now how many of these do we have left, sweetie? Ah. Now, there's the only slight worry, because think how many billion people there are on the planet. Seven and a bit. Yeah. I have, um, I have 28 to go around. Ooh. Hmm. So it's going to be a bit like when you have passed the parcel. You're not guaranteed to get it, are you? It's going to be passed on to the next person. Uh, right then, OK, is it that time already? Shall we start? Are we going to do it as a you-know-what to get the price down? Yeah. Hello! Um, I'm going to tell you something now before I bring you these in because they're magnetic class. Now, last night I gave my dad's lady friend because she'd um, had a couple of friends that had, that had died that day and she was a bit sad. So I gave her a pearl necklace and it got a magnetic class on. And I'll tell you what, this lady is in her 70s. She saw this pearl necklace and I said, would you like this pearl necklace? She went, oh. And then she got the... And do you know what it was? Although she was knocked out with the pearls, she went, look at the clasp. And she, she said, oh. And she said, I would nearly wore a necklace that you gave me with a Swarovski um, parve set. She said, but it's a little teeny tiny lobster. She said, and I really struggle with it. She said, and then your dad came to pick me up and I didn't have to... I couldn't... I knew I was going to get stressed. She said, now... And she literally... The joy that this necklace bought her because, not just because it was natural multicolour pearls, but the clasp. And it was the clasp that did it for her. Honestly. It, and it just made me realise, because I think we forget sometimes just how important a clasp is. Or should I say clasp, as it's sterling some. Just how it, and especially also when I think you're talking about pearls. Definitely. Most Definitely. Because, again, when I went to see my stepdad, his wife's, um, when I showed her a pearl necklace I got, she first, once she'd looked at the pearls, first thing she said, can I see the clasp? Very important with pearls and with jade art. When you're using high-end gemstones and your tanzanite and your sapphires and your rubies and your emeralds, I think the least you can do is put a very, very, very beautiful clasp on. I think it makes all the difference, don't you, Jim? Absolutely. It can elevate something. Uh, to a completely new level, and yeah. that is absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. So very traditional yes. shaping. Very traditional and shaping. Yep. If you uh, are lucky enough to peruse a flea market or an antique market, and you look at the antique pearl necklaces primarily, exactly. you'll see this quality yep. of clasp. Yep. And if you're making heirloom jewellery, something that's going to be passed down, something that's for a special occasion, yep. I think go the whole hog and have something totally that's agree. beautiful. Totally agree. Thing is, as well, it's really simple. All you do is you take the top off. It's as simple as that. Excuse me. You take the top off, and all you do is, so there, there's, the, there's the base. You can actually see the, the, the magnet. And then that's the back. Stamp 925 on the back as well. And then all you do is just literally show it over the top, and it jumps on. That's it. You get two of them, so you just take the top off, and hold it over the top, look, and that is it. How simple is that? I have only got 50 left. Do you know what, as well, my friend said to me the other day, um, I'll tell you now, if, oh, I was just going to say, don't even waste your time writing the code down for me, Phil. Pointless. Are you ready? There's two of those beautiful box cards, so nice and secure as well. Really strong magnet. Lovely vintage design. Oh, my word. Can I tell you now? Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to drop my producer in it now. <laughs> he doesn't mind. He said I don't mind. He said I'm used to it. Here we go. What's it, what does that say? Look, can I just show you? Just let you know, look, look. Can you see? 12.95. What does it say in the pink down there at the bottom? What's our post and packaging? £2.95, mainland UK. So if you live on the mainland of UK, £2.95. 
very generous. What very a giving generous. chap that Phil is. Yes, Aww. very generous. <laughs> £2.95, give them back. Didn't need to, because they'll sell out anyway, but there you go. And this is the lovely thing, look. This is lovely as a presenter, look. Look how easy it is with my tweezers, you ready? So if you focus on the class, look how easy it is to pick up, because it's a magnet. There you go. Don't even have to touch it, look. <laughs> it's brilliant. So, fantastic. You've got your loop on either side. Yes, I, I do know that, but I just wasn't going to say. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, right, how many left, sorry? Okay, there were 61 available. The thing is, I will, I will mention this actually, Jo. Do you, when you are, when you've got somebody coming and buying an item with, uh, an item of jewellery with a magnetic clasp, do you highlight every time to them that if they've got a pacemaker not to use a magnetic clasp? I do have a little card of information which nice says, uh, basically, if you have a device in your body that relies on an electrical impulse, such as a pacemaker, Jewelry. there are other devices that use electrical impulses uh, that you need to consult your physician or, or just err on the side you of just caution. You be careful, don't you? Again, the same thing applies to magnetic hematite. So if you're working with magnetic hematite, you need yeah. to be quite careful. Yeah. I just think you have to advise people and then the decision is theirs. That's yeah. what I think. Definitely. Then it's up to them, you know. Because sometimes people don't know, do they? You know, some people, there's things that actually impact on them. They don't know. And I think you should be told. Anyway, now, I don't have many left, unfortunately. I only started with 61. Or oh, can I just remember, in case you... 25 in baskets. You do know that price is for two, don't you? So that beautiful box clasp is £4.98 each. 2.1 grams of silver each. That's an entire sterling silver average necklace. What, one and a half, two grams for a sterling silver necklace and we are at 2.1 per box clasp. Amazing. Amazing. It is amazing. It is amazing. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is all the basketeers, um, bear in mind I've just had Hazel buy one on the phone, Mary just bought two on the phone, June's just bought one on the phone. I have 28 in baskets, I don't have that many left. So the thing is, if you all check out your baskets instantaneously, we are in minus. Minus. That could be, the lovely thing is as well, this is great for a bracelet. Now you know, we've all been there haven't we? You know when you have your bracelet, yeah? And you put your, bra and you drape your bracelet onto the top of your wrist, don't you? And that sort of sits there like that. And then you try and put the other side over to do your class. What happens? It goes like this, look, ready? It goes, does that, doesn't it? And you're like, come here. And you end up, I don't know about you, having a whole conversation with your bracelet. And it can be quite, unkind salty. yeah insulting <laughs> yeah and sometimes it gets thrown back on the bed doesn't it gets thrown gets well you're not getting warm tonight then it's going to be difficult and the poor bracelet's like oh, have you got any have you got it what no I'm oh, just you saying, that's why i wear a stretchy every uh, that's day why because she wears a it's stretchy. just so easy <laughs> but so is a magnetic that would change the game absolutely Ooh. change the game sorry that was my fault was that my fault, Liz? Shall I take the blame? Yes. Shall I take the blame? I'll take the blame. It wasn't my fault, but I'll take the blame. I'll it's, take the no, it's my fault because I talk too much. Sorry. I'll get Should the Should we just be... It's a team effort here. It's all our fault. Apparently it wasn't Mike's because he's a man. <laughs> it really wasn't me. <laughs> I'm joking. For all the all the men going, joking. Are you joking? I tied myself off with a woman today. Oh, I'll tell you what. Shall I tell you the joke while we're talking about this? Not the joke. So anyway, I'm in the car today. And anyway, driving down, I've got my friend in the car. Driving down the car, driving down the road. And anyway, flashed this lady to drive through. Flashed, flashed. And then she hesitated. And then it nearly caused an, an accident. And in the end, I said, this is the trouble. Women that aren't paying attention on the road, men and women, but I was talking about, men and women, but I was talking about this lady, because it was a lady in this instance, regardless of it, men or women. I said, that's what gives us a bad name, people like that. So... I drive not 10 feet up the road, stop at the traffic lights. I've had a right chunter about this lady. Stop at the traffic lights. My friends and we're chatting. All of a sudden I hear, beep, behind me, I've missed the traffic lights because I'm talking to my friend. I went, I wouldn't mind. I've just had a go about that poor woman back there. And then there's me going, eep, 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 eep. I've been instant karma. I think it was instant karma. <laughs> and we giggled all the way up. I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> it was my fault completely. I was like, I've actually got out of the car and I said to the man, I'm so sorry. 
Do you know what the actual definition of a millisecond is? Go on. It is, in Hong Kong, the time difference between the red light turning to green and the first person beeping. Wow. That's really? the definition of a millisecond. Oh, my goodness me. I felt, I felt really sad. <laughs> there's me going, women like that, men like that. And there's me. Really bad. Oh, I bet it was beautiful. It was, it, I just said, wouldn't that be great on a co comedy sketch? Yeah. It, would be, it would be so fun. And it happened. I was like, Zena, that'll teach you. <laughs> that'll teach you, Zena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are they gone? Because actually, I did. There's five left of the magnetic clasps. Don't worry, because if you don't get I'll have them when I come off. Don't worry. But I'd rather you have them. Because I work here, I can get them any time. Well, I can get them when they're in, can't I? If I'm not on air. Um, now, you say grab the amethyst, but there's two lots of amethyst, darling. Do you want to highlight which one you'd like me to pick up? The smooth ones, I refuse to say plain. What are you doing to the set, Jim? What are you doing to the moose? Put the moose's leg back down. He's doing yoga. Put the moose's <laughs> leg back down. No. He's doing yoga. He's a yoga moose. I can't believe that you're doing things <laughs> to the moose. There's a moose loose about this moose. You got caught then, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Any road up. Brand new strand. We're going to have a giggle tonight, aren't we? We are on our JM Nativity evening. We're going to have a great time on the Late Show. We have got this really pretty, really simple, simple yet elegant amethyst, Zambian amethyst, beautiful drops. They are adorable, aren't they? Wowzers. Tell you what, they are. I've got a lovely cleanness about them, haven't they? And beautiful representation of the player crowism. Do you know what? We're not stopping there. It's the late show. We don't do what we're told on the late show, do we? No, you don't. Five ninety-five. Five ninety five. It's a brand new strand. So if you're thinking, ooh, no, you've not seen it before. You've not. Amethyst. Brilliant, brilliant, beautiful amethyst. Gorgeous. Samantha says, now is it a moose or a reindeer? I think you're right. I think, oh, I think, it, oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's decide. You can decide. It's a reindeer, <laughs> isn't it? It's a reindeer. A reindeer with a woolly hat on? That's cute, actually. I like this one. The owl always looks constantly surprised, but this just looks like a little happy chappy. But you oh, can't do until you video. started wrapping his legs around his back of his head. He's just doing yoga now. He's not doing yoga. It's a yoga moose. Yoga reindeer, sorry. <laughs> You're right, though. You're right there, Samantha. It is a reindeer. Sorry. Sorry. So five ninety five. Should we have a count? See how many's on there. What do you think? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's twenty on there. That means thirty p per Zambian amethyst. Thirty pence. That's a bit That's good, isn't it? it? That's when you work it out like that. You think thirty p for a genuine cut, beautiful, polished Zambian amethyst. Bonkers. Hi, Zena, Gemma, and uh, sorry, Gem. Oh, look at me, Gemma, Gem and crew. Can you say hi to AD, please? Oh, hang on, my message says, he's not well, he's got a tummy bug. Oh, AD, lovely man. Get better soon, poorly tummy face. Get well soon, AD, all the best. Mm. You don't want a poorly tummy, that's rubbish. It is a bit, especially on a Friday night. Yeah. Have a good courage, AD. Have a good courage. Give him a break. Yeah, that'll help it, won't it? Maybe the day after. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> AD, how, I hope you get better soon, gorgeous face. Sorry, 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 you're not going to feel very well. I don't know if you've just got those um, jadeite, that would look nice. If you have a jadeite necklace and then a little... Is that what you think? Would that look nice? That would look nice, wouldn't it? That just one of those or... I'd, yeah, that would look nice. I've got some lovely conzite as well. I've got morganite coming up for you. Now, you're saying to me, Gem, I'm sure you've told me in the past, that this is... 
a really good seller when you sell your jewellery. It is. Amethyst does sell well because it's widely understood. People are aware of amethyst and 99% yeah. of the time they will know what gemstone they're looking at. Yeah. So consequently they feel secure yeah. in it. And comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. Com it's like seeing confident. an old friend, isn't it? It is, yeah. And as you say, if you're confident in what you're buying, you feel more secure, don't you? Do you know what I mean? You know, it's that, it, and that's a really good point, actually. So they're beautiful. Right then, um, Phil said, because we're all behaving ourselves, not, he's going to give us an unplanned, unscheduled, surprise showstopper. If you've always wanted to buy kyanite, now's your chance. And you've always thought can't afford it, this is your chance. Best price, we don't even understand ourselves how we're managing to do this, on a beautiful high-end strand, taster strand of, of kyanite. How many left, sorry? We have 30 chances only. And it's going nowhere near this. For those of you that remember Jewelry Maker of Old, where we occasionally used to do that spectacular that offer that everybody talked about, when we did the mystery strand, and it was £30, 29.95, and we always said we would send you something worth considerably uh, of higher value. And uh, we, we haven't done it for a long time because it obviously costs us too much money to do. This is one of those moments, but we're moving the mystery. Are you you're going to know exactly what you're going to get. So just remember, I've just mentioned a 29.95 price point, haven't I? Now these kyanites in the centre, in fact all the way along the strand actually, are very sizeable for such a rare gemstone. But the ones right into the centre, these, these couple here, are, well two or three in the centre there, are huge by rare kyanites um, standards. Uh, this is incredible. This is absolutely natural. We get a very, very limited number of parcels of um, kyanite in, in any 12-month period. We are never guaranteed kyanite. Never. You'll know if you watch uh, Jewelry Maker quite often that it's one of the rarely seen gemstones. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal... <laughs> okay, get rid of it. Right, um, can we just... Can we, can we... Should we say? Are we going to do it? Are you sure we can do it? The four and the two at the beginning are being rearranged to $24.95. Shut the back door. Can you believe that, Gem? That's absolutely astonishing. And it's such a beautiful gemstone. So difficult to cut. Comes from the roof of the world, doesn't it? Doesn't but it just? It's just heartrendingly beautiful when you gaze right there into it. Yeah. You get up close and personal. Oh, yeah. That's just that a is... textbook example. It's I gorgeous. Mean, every one of those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 14 kyanites on there is easily a pendant in its own right. Every single one of them. I mean, if you were to sell a kyanite pendant on sterling silver chain, what kind of price point would you go to? Very, very simple wrapped loop at the top. Yep. Probably £25. Yeah, so, so in one of the smaller gemstones, you'd cover the cost you'd of cover the strand. You'd cover the cost. And, and then the, the rest other is yours to play with. Yeah, the other 13 are to play with and make the profit on. Definitely. So you'd, you'd potentially make your money back, or not make your money, you know, cover the cost of the expense of the strand with the sale of... Potentially one pendant. Now I have lot. I've even got people coming in from New York. Is it cold? I bet it's cold in New York at the minute, isn't it? Can get very, very can cold. Can get very cold. Can't Doesn't it? have the benefit of our Gulf Stream. Mm. But they have lovely hot summers too. Mm. I, went, I lived in New York for a month. Did you really? I did. Whereabouts did you live? Port Jefferson. Mm. Port Jefferson, Long Island, in New York. Went to high school on a yellow bus. Earl Van der Meulen High School. So anyway, uh, right then, so Anna in New York, Carolyn Dumfries in Galloway, Kelly Buttercup in Warwickshire, Zoe in Essex, I've got collectors coming in, Alison's got them well done, Alison in Berkshire, you got yourself a brilliant deal there, sweetheart. 
dollar in Staffordshire as well. You've got this. Uh, this is severely limited. This is the only concern. Um, these are just adorable. I can imagine actually having a pair of kyanite earrings that big. That would be stunning. I mean, I, I have a kyanite ring and it's set Family. in a very simple band of sterling silver. Yep. And I think that was about the £80 mark. And the kyanite is of that sort of quality. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. Really beautiful. I, I mean, I've been in the industry as a presenter over five years. I've got one kyanite ring. Just one. Um, and it's beautiful. Every time I keep saying I'll wear it. In fact, I must remember to go and go home, get it out the, get it out the wood and wear it to work one day because you've got to see it's utterly, utterly gorgeous. So £24.95, everybody's asking about the Pussycats, they are on pre-order, don't worry, you can get them. Uh, Samantha's just said, Kyanite with Jadeite. Oh, do it. Oh, do it. I like that. Do it. Do it. Oh, hello. Oh my word, Samantha, good call. That is quite, quite heavenly. Isn't I, it? I don't think I would have come up with that. I wouldn't in a million years. And she and half right, isn't she? But do you know what? It does something for both of those strands. Absolutely. It's making that kyanite just fizz and hot. Gorgeous. Amazing. Good call. Good call. Respect to you, Samantha. Um, I'd love to stay on the, on the kyanite, but I haven't got time. I have not got time because it is... Um, yeah, uh, it's a star by that goes... How many puns can we come up with for the pussycat charm? <laughs> it's a doll of a deal. It's a what, sorry? A doll of a deal, like a pussycat doll. Ah, oh, I was a bit lost with that. I was thinking, <laughs> why? Good one, pussycat doll. They are perfect. Perfect. Makes you feeling fine. Makes you feel I'm fine. Like it. Good one. She's on four tonight. Look at this. I would stretch for your purse or wallet or credit card. Because it's a stretching cat. Little bit tenuous. Right then. Let me just mention now, Lena. I hope she's got them, Lena. Lee. Has she got them? Great. Hey. Great. Beautiful. Was she oh, Lena's got them. Well done. Can I, can I just mention the naughtiest price this has ever been to before previously is £8.95 and you've taken £3 the post of packaging off again. Ah. Uh, Did you drop it like it was hot? Like a cat on a hot tin roof. Hey, we got like the it. it. <laughs> like it. What do you think about that, everybody? And the good news is, everybody pays their final low price. And that is the naughtiest price ever. So if you've been thinking, oh, my tweezers, by the way, are just hiding the loop. So there is a loop there for you to attach to. It's beautiful. I mean, look at the detail there, look. The, 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 the pussycat tail. And that's, you could, you, we've all seen a cat actually in that position. Having a little stretch when they wake up in the morning. Or when they've just got out their little pussycat bed. Or their radiator bed. You know the ones that sit on the radiator, those I was beds? looking at those with my mum the other day and we were wondering if we could get them for the dogs, but there was a weight limit. My dogs are too big. Yeah, you don't want, can you imagine the radiator <laughs> yeah, coming, yeah, off, coming off, the off the wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my mum's cat, she's in love them. Love them. Um, so, yeah, never, never, never happened before. I'm just thinking as well, we've had the engraving pen recently. You could, engra you could engrave those, couldn't you, and actually have them on a... Couldn't you? That would be fantastic. I'm wondering also if you could stamp into them carefully because they're flat, aren't they? Yeah. We've got a little sort yeah. of dome to the yeah. surface. They'd be beautiful. Mm. Really gorgeous. Love those. They are really lovely. I love the shape of them. It's something a bit different because we've all seen pussycat charms and pussycat pendants, but they're normally face on or flat on and you've got the, you know, the traditional facing head and the, cat, cat, the tail to one side. But to have that in that lovely stretching position... It's just really different. It's lovely. It's much more emotive for me. Yeah. I think that's much more of a cat thing to do. Yeah. Be catastrophic if you missed out. <laughs> I 
that's what it feels to be fair. Catastrophic. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not having a cat nap and miss it. Oh, come on, that was worth a symbol. Oh, so Phil gets a symbol. Phil gets the symbol, Crash. I don't. Oh, it's like that, is it? Uh, yeah, like that. I'm fairly sure mine will get tumbleweeds. Mmm, well, charming, isn't it? No, I'm a bit concerned. Are the baskets working? Because I've got Denise, I've got Alison, I've got Pauline, I don't want them to miss out. I've got Karen, I've got Collector, I've got Debbie, I've got Sarah, I've got Marie all waiting to check out. Lots of people having two each. Good for you. I'm like, I'm glad you got them. Lean. Are you all waiting for the rose gold? Because that has, that has been the colour of 2017, hasn't it? Absolutely, it's everywhere. Everywhere, jewellery, homeware, yeah. the lot. Everywhere. Mm. Yeah. I tell you what, shall we match? Can we match the same price? Is that allowed? Yeah? Oh, thanks, Phil. Thank you, Phil. What? I'm just thinking, my mum at one point had 13 cats in our house. All at the one time? Yeah, she usually had five, but one had kittens. Ah. We had a cat called Elfie that, that would sit on your, um, we had this cat called Elfie, and he'd sit on your shoulder, and he'd talk to you, so he'd sit there. It was called a Devon Rex, they've got massive ears, got no fur, Aww. really unusual, look them up, they're really, they look, look Devon Rex, very new, no fur, massive gizmo ears. Oh, how lovely. Oh, very intelligent. And they would sit, and he would sit on your shoulder, and you'd go, all right, Alfie, and he'd go, ah, and he'd make that noise. Did he have a Devonshire accent? No. Oh. But he would, he'd go, ah, and that's sort of the noise he'd make. Fun time, fun. And they'd fetch, like, if you threw, like, a little ball or a crisp, fold-up crisp packet, then pet, pet, run, run for it, oh. bring it back, and then tap, you, tap your foot. Oh, how lovely. Tap your foot and wait, just like a little dog. They're I like so cats lovely. that think they're dogs. Yeah, these cats thought they were dogs. <laughs> Yeah, he could still stroke it. Just, it just had like really fine, downy. Just no, well, it didn't have any hair. It's like bald basically, but really smooth. Really cute. My friend Tony in Sweden's got one of the Sphinx cats. Oh, they're hairless. lovely. And she's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely stunning. Yeah. Alfie and Rosie, beautiful. So, five ninety-five. And Mike's now trying to get me to buy a cat. It would be nice. I, do, I would like some company. I would like a little... I want a dog, though. You'll be my cat, will you? Oh, OK. Thanks, Leah. <laughs> there you go. Um, finally, in fact, have you got a cat? What's your cat's name? Have we got... I bet there's some fabulous cat names out there. Oh, I bet there are some great, great... I had one called Twiglet, Bandit, Billy, Freddy. My brother had a kitten called Gromit. Gromit. <laughs> Which I always thought of as more of a dog's name, but uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. We liked it. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Do message in if you want to. Share with us. Um, text in on 60777. Start your text with James Studio. Be interested to know. Uh, right, then, we don't have, we didn't have that many of those cats, did we? 100 of each. 100 of each, darlings. All right, my lovelies? Best ever price. After the break, we have got some gold and rose gold coloured brass magnetic clasps coming up after the break. So they're going to be your star by. Um, not supposed to be on the late show, but we thought they were very festive. The Ooh. little jingle bells of jewellery maker, we thought. How lovely. Aren't they lovely? Magnetic clasps coming up. Well, I can say clasps because they're not sterling silver. So I can say it's a clasp. They're coming up, so grasp those as well. Grasp the clasps. Grasp the clasp. Okay, after the break. Good news is as well. The even more important news is we've got a demonstration from this one. We yes, that one there. <laughs> that was lovely. Um, so we've got fantastic kits coming up for you. We've got CB kits, brilliantly priced. We've got Magatamas, we've got Super Duos. We've got those fantastic magnetic clasps coming up for you as well. I think the sterling silver ones have sold out. Pretty sure they have. Uh, we'll have a check for you. But please do join us after the break. You thought that hour was action-packed. You wait. We haven't even started yet. So grab yourselves a quick cup of tea or coffee and join us after the break. Jewelry maker Coolskip vouchers are now available. 
You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. This December, join us each morning at 10am for our Christmas Advent deals. A new deal every day with Jewelry Maker this Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! I'd be an amazing Santa. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Alice and Harry's Incredible Fairy Tale Castle is now available on DVD. This double disc DVD will guide you through how to create this wirework masterpiece from start to finish including how to design the walls, turrets, windows and door. To grab your copy for just 9 95 contact our call centre now on 0800 644 Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying from Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code, to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jewelry Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. I've just sat here and said, somebody smells of garlic, and then I thought, I had garlic bread last night, so then I think it's probably me. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat here and went, who no. smells of garlic? They all went, no, no, it's probably me. <laughs> yeah, That's probably, so funny. Sorry. That's probably okay. me. It's fine. Did have really garlicky bread last night. Good for you. In an Italian restaurant. Oh, lovely. Mm. Right <laughs> then, you lovely lot. We have got this incredible deal on these class very festive now it's very hard to show them independently of one another because they're very <laughs> friendly very friendly clasps aren't they darling they are indeed mm. it's like a, a cluster of fruit isn't baubles. it just let me show you what they look like independently as you'll see <laughs> that they, they, uh, they do like to um well i'll tell you what when i show you that that shows you just if i show you this look how strong the magnet is look ready you know, when I put them anywhere near, look. See, they are. Ve that just gives you an idea how strong that magnet is. I can do the same with the rose gold. Look, see, very, very strong magnets, and that's what you want. Because if you have a magnetic clasp, it's got to be strong enough a magnet. Absolutely. To stay together when there's jewellery on and wire and things that are going to create a little bit of weight. And when you have faith in them, you know that you can use those slightly chunkier beads, like the 10 mil jadeites, for instance. Exactly. You know you, got, you have the faith to use them. Because you've got to have faith. Do, 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 do. Dee, 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 dee. But you want you to have faith, the faith, the faith in the clasp. Um, and the good news is, and if you've got those 10 mil rounds, wouldn't that be the perfect clasp to go with it, actually? It a 10 mil ideal. round or a 14 or a 12 or a... Absolutely perfect. Mm. Now, these are really simple. There's a loop on each end. Okay, to attach, 
And then all you do is pull them, well, I say all you do because they're proper strong. And then look, ready, ready, get close. Whee! Did you see that then? I'm going to do it again, look. You ready? Close, 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 close. You just get good. Just woohoo! How do you fancy? Well, hang on a second. It says eight pieces each. Oh, so there's eight of the gold plated, eight of the rose gold plated. Is that 16 clasps? For eleven ninety five, which per clasp seventy five p. That's really good. I think you you have seen these in those sort of shops where you go to get assorted bits and pieces for various hobbies, and they're like three or four pounds for a single item. Oh! So it's a feisty little thing, isn't it's it? <laughs> Can I sculpt with them, please? I want to. I've got to do things with them. Well, look, you can. <laughs> that's what I mean. You, you're going to want to play with them. That's the thing. You are going to want to... That's, that's, that's the only thing to mention. You will end up playing with them. Now, I have got, um, or did have, rather, 102. Uh, 20, uh, well, uh, nearly... 25% uh, has gone already. Oh, yeah, I tell you what you're hang about, do you? I'm not surprised. Does it think, uh, it's, can somebody explain something to me? Don't want to be accused of being sexist here, but why is it every man that I know... He's obsessed with magnets. I, I mean, loves... Okay, obsessed is probably too strong a word, but loves a magnet. I was quite obsessed with them as a kid as well, to be fair. I think it's just learning about forces of nature. What do you think? Yeah. I think things like gravity and magnetism, they're almost magical, yeah. aren't they? So... But particularly the men in my family, and, the, and certainly my ex, were just obsessed with the magnet. Just, you know, I mean... You do, you, you wait, don't you? You get all excited, you wait, and 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 it's like, and you can, oh, you can feel it. Oh, sorry, is that, so clearly <laughs> I'm getting very excited by the magnet myself. I'll be honest with you, I've had a new shower installed, as you know, and it's got little doors that come together, and Ooh. they're magnetised, and you get them so close, and then you take your hands away, and they shut themselves, it's like being on Star Trek. Yeah, but what happens if, like, you got something caught, what happens if you got something caught in the middle? They do get quite close together before they snap closed. Well, I don't know if I'd fancy a magnetic shower door. What if, you know, things could get trapped. Well, your towel, obviously, yeah. is what you're talking about, well, Zena. Yeah, absolutely, mm. that's what I'm talking... Oh, your hair! <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck in the shower! <laughs> it's not a permanent magnet, though. You oh. can just open the door again, just okay. saying. It's all, all right. good. It, it's safe. Really simple to do up. I mean, you literally just... That's it, and you, you're done up. Amazing. You see how quick you can do it. Come on, let's just show ooh, how quick ooh, it is. Ooh, calm so, yourself. Open it. There's your necklace. Imagine you've got your necklace. It's hard to undo because it's a strong magnet. Ready? Oh, I couldn't undo and it. And then we're doing the neck. Oh, it's there. Done. Yeah. And we're on. Amazing. That's how quick they are. Fantastic. Fantastic. Angela, I am watching you, Perra, not concentrating on my beading, she says. And I've just sewn my star to my finger. Oh, oh, beading needles are very sharp. Angela. I'm very, very sorry, Angela. I'm very sorry. Why do you got a starry thing in her? That's great. Ah, I mean, it's a permanent sorry. accessory. <laughs> oh. Lizeth, my boyfriend has got super magnets, about 12 of them, sitting in front of the TV, playing with them. We'll never understand why. There you go. That, what's a super magnet? I don't Ooh. quite know. Super strong, I'd imagine. Samantha said, I am too, but I'm a qualified engineer. Are you? Look at, look at Samantha. We love you, qualified Samantha. Qualified engineer? That's impressive, isn't it? It is. I don't know what I'm qualified in. <laughs> Apart from jewellery. Apart from jewellery, I'm qualified, I don't think I'm qualified in, in typing. Ed, just I'm talking. Typing, typing, quality. Yeah, talking, talking rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, look. <laughs> Alison says, my beautiful ginger boy is called Jasper. The dog Aww. is called Bert. Oh, how lovely. Oh, Jasper, that's nice. That's a gemstone-related yeah. name. We like those. In fact, have you got any gemstone-related animals like names? That'd be good with all kids or anything. Pearl the cat. Pearl the cat. You know, if it's like a Siamese, pearly colour. That's a nice one. Mm. Yeah. And rose, rose quartz. <laughs> Diane said, hi all, I have five cats. Willow, Cat, Moon, Thomas, O'Malley, Van Diesel and Suki. Great. I love it. I like that. Cat Moon. Cat Moon. Love My it. My cat was called Vandal and he really <laughs> was a mischief maker. <laughs> Tina, I like super. that. Vandal. I love it. So I used to have two cats, Pipsqueak and Blue Boy. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? I like Pipsqueak. Yeah. Pipsqueak, they're nice. Emma says, my cat is called Claude. 
Oh, I like it. First time at the vets, they spelt his name, Claude. Oh, no, that's brilliant. Love, Emma. I am double blessed that you ladies are a team tonight. Oh, bless you. Emma. Aww. I take it you've re re, re you'd have to call him Claude with C A. So I think, that's yeah. You've got to change his name. You've got to change his name to W E D because that is clever. <laughs> that's Claude. genius. In fact, if ever I have a if ever I have a cat, I'm going to call. If, can I call it Claude with A W E D? It's brilliant. Well, I think cats should be called C for C for cat. C for cat. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's a good one as well. <laughs> right then, if you want those brilliant, I'll tell you what as well. Um, Kleshner says, our guest is Anna Kleshner, she says that all of the jewellery that she makes these days is with magnetic clasps. Pretty much everything. Just makes it so easy. Just, it makes it, honestly, if you'd have seen my dad's friend, Val, and she was a bit down yesterday because she'd lost these two friends, obviously. And honestly, when she saw this, and then she, honestly, she was more knocked out with the clasps than the pearls. Oh. She really was. Oh, she was just lovely. Kept, look, she was in the restaurant going, look, look, <laughs> look how quick I'm Sweet. But you, the thing is, when we're on when we're on jewelry maker and we're talking about cats, we don't actually we talk about them when we say how brilliant they are. But it's not actually till you see somebody that isn't used to them and the joy and the that they get from the class that it re-establishes just how incredible these things are to people. Most definitely, once you know. they're stranded up, they're so easy to open yeah. as well. Look how strong they are! Look, wee! Oh, you just want you are just going to want to play. <laughs> <laughs> um, Right then, sorry, but there's, there was just a naughty bit of reindeer fluff. Reindeer fluff. We'll blame, okay. we'll blame, we'll the, blame reindeer. the reindeer. Okay. We could blame the camel. Aren't they amazing? <sighs> Who made the camel? Was it Gemma? Was it Gemma? They must be Gemma's because she was doing a donkey and a camel today. I love the donkey. They're amazing. There's a camel like that in my local garden centre. Massive. And he keeps bobbing his head at me when I walk past. An actual camel. Well, not a real one, oh. but, you know, a pretend one. I was excited then. No, it's not real. Well, I wouldn't be very happy if it was a real camel. It would be very nice. Can you imagine standing in the garden centre all day as a camel? It'd be very right boring. Well, if, if they had a big field and there were a couple of them, I'm sure oh, he'd be yeah. quite happy. Yeah. Any road up. Um, sorry, Phil. Are we, we're getting a bit chatty tonight, aren't we? Sorry, Phil. All right. I'm getting told off. Oh, I've, le I've left me, uh, me notes over there. For me seed beads. Can, while you, well, this, can you, no, can't reach the seed beads. Okay. Which, oh, those, those ones. ones. Oh, sorry, they're not those ones over there. <laughs> those are for a bit later, I think. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Phil. Mm. Drop anything. <laughs> Thank you, darling. No, there's things with kids. Don't worry, I'll have to read it, sweetie. That's... Okay, we've got Angel Gabriel. Very nice. Thank you, sweetie. And um, this is... Let me sh make sure I've got the right ones. Okay. Is this the one where we've got... Eight tubes of seed beads? Wow. So, eight tubes of seed beads. That's a lot. I'm concerned about the price point, but I tell you what, let's go through it. Can I mention something about this kit that we've never had before, ever? And we have to actually check this out. Can you see here that we've got little Delicas? Mayuki Delicas? Yeah? So we've got Mayuki Delicas. If I put them into the centre so you can see them, actually. We have got the Mayuki Delicas in the Crystal Aurora Borealis and in the Silver Line Crystals in 7.2 gram tubes. But guess what? First time, for, to my knowledge, size 10. I'm, for all seed beaders, is this news to you or is it just news to me and my crew? Because we had to actually go and look up today because we thought it was a typo. Okay. Did not know, I know there's a size 6, no there's a size 8, no there's a size 11, no there's a, no, there's a size 15. In all the year that I've been selling seed beads on Jewelry Maker, I have never seen a size 10 Delica. <laughs> have you? Or is this news to us all? Size 10 Delicas. Oh yeah, Crystal Aurora Borealis and Silver Line Crystal in a size 10. And the price you're seeing, we're we'll not going anywhere near that. We have also got um, for you in this lovely kit. Yeah, I can put those there for you, Mike. No problem. There you go. 
We have also got gilt lined opal seed bead size 6, duracoat galvanized pewter seed bead size 8, matte crystal seed bead size 8, ivory salon seed bead size 8, matte transparent crystal seed bead size 11, and delicas in the galvanized silver seeds, seed beads in size 11. So if I put all the delicas to one side, those are your lovely pewter. They're gorgeous, actually, in size 8. The pewter's lovely. Now, Nikki's just said, yes, I use size 10 delicas. Love them. Yeah, but have we had them on Jewelry Maker? Have we? Honestly, we're all in shock on the... Sorry, but we're, we, we here are all in shock. Now, these... Oh, now those are nice. Those are your opal-lined seed beads. Gilt-lined opal seed beads. They're spectacular. I don't think I've seen those before either. Aren't they lovely? It's like working with little nuggets of opalite. It's really pretty. Yeah. And then we've got, I mean, this is lovely actually for vintage or wedding. It is. Isn't it? Beautiful colour combinations. I don't know why I'm stretching over this desk so much as well, because it's just so deep, this desk. I'm actually hurting my arms. Right, here we go. Let's put those on there for you so you can see. Now those, oh, these are lovely. I like those ones. Those are your tr transparent, so they're matte transparent seed beads. They're lovely, aren't they? They're stunning. I really like those. Really beautiful. But those opal, gilt-lined opal, now obviously they're not real opal, they're seed beads, but they're just beautiful. You've got those lovely um, ivory salon in the size 8. So it's great because you've got three tubes of size 8, a tube of size 11, a tube of size 6, and two tubes of delicas in 10, and a delica in size 11. So that's, this is a really lovely, really lovely... Um, selection of types of seed bead and size of seed bead lots of ways that you can vary yeah. the designs using those different sizes but those opaly ones on the end what i can see in the studio and what i could see when i was working yeah. with them at home like a little fiery rainbows yeah now that's just it doesn't really come through Does as hit? beautifully yeah as it is in real life yeah. so totally if you've agree. not seen them personally these are definitely one that you need to try yeah. They're absolutely stunning. They are. Right then, we're going to do something special on the Late Show. There are 82, ch oh, there were 82 <laughs> chances for eight tubes of seed beads. All my Yuki. How do you... I'm not That's... saying that out loud, no. You aren't seriously going to that price. That isn't what we talked about at all. <laughs> oh, Phil, come on. <laughs> wow. I genuinely am not comfortable saying that price point out loud. I don't know whether you are, Jim. I'm not saying it. One of us has to, apparently. <sighs> I'm just genuinely not comfortable. No, Leah won't do it either. Leah, Leah say no. <laughs> I'll do it. That that is twenty one ninety five. Yeah. For those eight. Yeah. Tubes. How much is that per seed bead tube, Jim? It's two pounds seventy five each tube. <laughs> I think he's got that wrong. That's exceptional. He's got that wrong. Eight tubes. Yeah, you in the gear. He's like, yeah, I've got it wrong. Oh, he's put his hands up. Um, <laughs> now, obviously, um, oh, all the regular gang are in. Well done. Obviously, I don't need to encourage you to check that out. That's an absolute no-brainer. If you love seed beads, if you are yet to try seed beads, we've got DVDs coming out all the time. I know we're launching a, a, a DVD on the 7th next, uh, next Thursday with um, the lovely Jo Barkley Logie. She's launching a fantastic French beaded uh, floral design, all in seed beads. Um, so, again, we've had some fantastic seed bead DVDs lately from our guest designers. Um, that is unbelievable value for money. You know it, I know it, we all know it. Uh, I've never seen seed beads ever at £2.75 yet on Jewelry Maker. There it is. Um, incredible. And you've, you've actually worked with some seed beads, Gem Hawks. <laughs> I'm not a seed beader. So that is the, the seediest beady design that I That's make. That's lovely, that is. I like that beautiful ring. It's actually based on a, a pot coaster 
from my auntie's house that I remember from the really? late 70s, the early 80s, made out of a, a, an upcycled beaded car seat cover. Oh, wow. So oh, do you just, remember those co beaded Do you remember those yeah, car seat covers? Yeah, I loved mine. Covers. I had one yeah. of my first cars. I, I think Rock I had one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yes, I'm, I'm not a seed beader, but this kit was so beautiful, yeah. so lovely. Jeez. All of those colours together, yeah. they're just perfect. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, half the sucker's gone. We did start with 82. Well, I say more than half the sucker's gone. Can I just mention as well, coming up in the, um, in the next kit, there's two parts to this because we've got the pearl coloured coloured wire as well. I've actually got the opal coloured Swarovski coming up for you to go with those, uh, if they can stay on the board there. I just want to show you how well they go together. They you, are heavenly. They really are heavenly. They're beautiful with that lovely angel there. Um, very complimentary. So you've got those gilt-lined opal seed beads in the Mayuki there, full 20-gram tube in a size 6. Combine it with the um, opal-coloured Swarovski in those bicones, and that is just going to look adorable. Think of winter weddings as well. And any, any sort of beautiful wintry scene that you want to do, or make any of our seed bead bauble covers that we've done recently on DVD with Alison and Gemma, or if you want to do some lovely window sort of snowflake designs, you know, that would look lovely as well. They would. It, it's yeah. an ethereal collection. It, it is indeed ethereal. Yeah, that's a lovely word. Susan in Gloucestershire just said, did I hear you say you had Magatamas on the show, Zinarella? Oh, I like that. Zinarella. Oh, I like that. Zinarella, right? At least I'm not an ugly sister. That's something, isn't it? I'm going to change your name Zinarella. in my phone. Oh, yeah. You're going to be Zinarella. I like that. I um, like that. You did hear me say we've got some. Uh, Akuna Magimatamas. What a wonderful thing. Akuna Magimatamas. Ain't no passing craze. It means there's sea beats for the rest of your days. It's our purpose. <laughs> right then, my lovelies. Now, the, here's the query. I know it's Friday. I know, it's the, I know we're into the weekend. I know it's your time. But if you leave eight tubes of seed beads at £2.75 a tube in your basket, some other person's going to come along and nick them, aren't they? This is true. There's a chance. This is true. They might fly out somewhere else. Like the, the on the angel's wings. It yes. could happen. It could happen. So, Mary and... Jo now, I know this is our regular gang who know how it works. So, Mary and Jerry, Collector Ilva, love your name. Leslie, Carolyn, Pat, Laurie, Audrey, Karen, Collectors, Chloe, Susan, Collectors again. Mary and Jerry, don't worry, you're on the... You're off the thinking about it list. You're in the... You can sit back, relax. <sighs> They're yours. Nice feeling that. Yeah, gone. Oh, yes. Gone. <laughs> gone. Uh, right then, so, how many left, sorry, before we move on to the second kit? Ah, right, I've got about 25 left, uh, sorry, 25 in baskets. If you all check out, I've got four left. That's a cracking price. It really, really I've is, never, a I've, lovely collection. I've, I've bought a lot of seed bead kits to air on Jewelry Maker, and in all my time, I've never seen a tube go to £2.75. No, that, that, that is absolutely fabulous. And they go so far. I've, I've got... Uh, Quite a little stash left. I bet you have. <laughs> I bet you have. Um, right then. Shall we do the Swarovski? Yeah? We have... Oh, <coughs> gorgeous Swarovski. <coughs> Excuse me. We have got two of the parcels of the 4 mil. So you've got the Swarovski Aurora Borealis crystals in the 4 mil, in the bicones. The white opal coloured bicones that we just talked about and the crystal clear it's great to have the crystal clear oh the crystal i haven't seen the crystal clear for ages they're just like little shards of light aren't they aren't they just beautiful just, they are gorgeous i mean all you've got to do is thread those onto a memory wire bangle oh so easy amazing so easy to work with yeah and so complimentary to absolutely everything oh, yeah. thing you would want to put them with 100 percent. so in total there by my reckoning 144 Swarovski, I had to use my brain, I had to go, right, there's 48 in each, that's 50 times 3, 150, take 6 off 140, that's hard to work to get out then, in my little brain. 140, I'm right, aren't I? 144 Swarovski, oh my, mate. I was having to make my brain work then. <laughs> also, 42 metres of the pearl coloured wire for you, oh yeah, 
because what we've got in the pearl coloured wire is four different gauges as well. We've got 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.5. I know. Dingity dong. Total dingity dong. 0.5? Yeah. Hello, you. You little minx. <laughs> and extra length, 12 metres. Oh, fancy her. Fancy her, little madam. <laughs> where, where's she been hiding? I've, I don't know. I've not seen it before. I was looking at it thinking, this doesn't feel like 0.4. It doesn't feel yeah. like 0.6. I wonder. And then there was an extra two metres. Now, you're, lovely. you're a bit partial to the pearl coloured wire, aren't I, you? I love mm. the pearl wire. So it's look amazing. Her eyes go, oh. <laughs> what? She bats her eyes at when she sees She bats her eyes at these when she sees them. She it's goes, true. It's yeah, true. I'm telling you. <laughs> but four gauges and 0 0.5 in 12. Now, all the rest of the meter, uh, the reels are 10 metres. But the 0.5 is 12 metres. You get a bit extra. The 0.6 is 10. The 0.8 is 10. And the 1.25. I know. That beautiful framework. <gasps> Talk necklaces. Easy. As well. Yeah. Nice. So, for the Angel Gabriel... 144 of the Swarovski. If I put that behind, then you can probably see if I move that up. There you go. So, 144 Swarovski. 42 metres of the pearl coloured wire, which is beautiful. Oh, I like the way that's photographed. Oh, that's a bit posh, isn't it? Oh, should I? Oh, I'm feeling a bit. I'm feeling a bit. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I can do it as well if you want it like that. Yeah, I've never thought to do it like that. It looks lovely. Doesn't it look nice like that? Isn't you it? do get the real shade, the sheen that the you get. The real, the uh. the real shade. <laughs> 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 oh dear me! Any road up? Uh, right then, so the angel Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel. Forty-two meters wide, one hundred and forty-four across. Oh, couldn't be adding it up. And nobody told me it was on the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that is it? Every I was going to say it's on the graphics. You daft apa. Um, right then, so a um, few more of that kit, which is the good news. The code is IOGC55, twenty-seven ninety-five. Now, young lady, mm -hmm. demonstration-wise, what is one thinking of doing? Is one doing an angel? Well, I thought we could chat through. Oh, okay. And also show you the basics and the techniques that you'll need to create the angel. If we were going to sit and do the angel from beginning to end, it might take a little more time than we have in an hour's slot. So we're going to have a look at the, the segments that go to make up Gabriel and how to achieve the look. Now, I don't know if you know, but uh, Gabriel is a messenger and he has a trumpet and the trumpet is there to bring news. That's why there's a trumpet, just in case you're thinking, what? <laughs> My dad plays the trumpet. Does he? Mm. Amazing. I'll share that with you. I've got half a note out of a bugle once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right then, lovely girl, could you show, oh, I like those, like, angel, is that like angel wings? Yeah, Just little angel wings lovely. or a butterfly. It's entirely how you want to interpret it. They're, they're pretty cute. They're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> I love you, Gem, because you do such different jewellery. You really do. And a lovely array of different types of jewellery. Doesn't show you. You are fab. Oh, bless your heart. Well, Thank you, you darling. You are fab. I'm rubbish at compliments, so shh. I know, but I know you are, but you are fantastic. So thank you, darling. So I'm going to stop yakking. Everybody's like, yes. Um, could you demonstrate then, lovely girl, sure. please? Okay, so the frame comes in two parts, and we'll be working with lengths of wire. Now, I no longer have a ruler on my desk, so I'm going to guesstimate. Oh, oh, oh. Would you like to borrow my ruler? We could indeed have a bit of a borrowing. It's, it's a... It's a, it's a it's not the full length, but it could give you a rough idea. Perfect, thank you. My it's about pleasure. 28 to 30 inches okay. of the 1.25, mm -hmm. and I'm going to use two of those lengths. Okay. Now, if you have any left over, that's what we would make the uh, little earrings out of. So it doesn't really matter if you've got too much. Always harder if you've got too little. So Do you need me to shift over? Because I've just moved your board a bit. Come in. There you go. Not used Sorry. to sitting down. Yeah, we're Sorry. not told. <laughs> Okay, so if I show you what we're going to aim for, okay. and it's possible I might need to borrow a darker background because we're working obviously with the pearl wire. I can fix that right now. And we're having a look. I can fix that for you. I can fix that. You can have my board here. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. Well, if I just move those for you, lovely girl. You're a legendary lady. 
So, okay, I'm just move those to one side and then I'll pour the board over. Hang on a second. Wonderful. There you go. Got it, Leah. Thank you, sweetheart. Leah's just come to help me. There you go, darling. Oops, nearly. Got <laughs> it. I caught it. Don't worry. Wonderful. Thank you very there you much. Go. So we're going to be creating two segments to begin with. And this, again, is around about 30 inches each of the okay. 1.25. And the reason I do that in two sections is just in case it all goes a little bit wrong. Uh, <laughs> Mike's just said in case it goes a wire. Oh, we're on it, it tonight with the old puns, aren't we? It could happen. So we've got a, a winged section and the rear of the dress and a face section and the front of the dress. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do the winged section uh, because this is an interesting little technique just to sort of do that part. Uh, we, we won't necessarily have to do all of it because it okay. is fairly self-explanatory. But if I pop those out of the way and grab one of my pieces of wire... I'm going to start off with a coil, as okay. we often do. So using some round nose pliers. These are from the deluxe toolkit that we have on occasion. And we're going to start off with a little swirl, like so. I'm going to do that that way around. That might be easier. So this is going to be quite a large swirl rather than a tight swirl. And it's going to be relatively open. Okay. okay? So I'm going to switch that to a flat pair of pliers and just draw that around so we've got a little bit of strength and then leave that to open out okay okay so if I can switch to the overhead that's wonderful this is the shape that we're looking to replicate so we're going to come down oh, a little bit so okay. we need to straighten that up in a downwards line yeah. okay and then what I'm going to do is switch to my very broad flat pliers mm -hmm. now these are the same distance from tip to joint and that means that I can use them to get a regular shape and yeah. size they're brilliant for prong setting actually because mm. you can sort yeah. of make your little castellations yeah. and it's, it just repeats the size for you so we're going to come all the way down put a little bit of warmth into the wire and we're going to start by putting an angle at the bottom whoops now I'm going to just twist that to the side again using the side of the wire and drawing back up so that we get a little point, turn the design around, pop the pliers back in and get another angle. So you can see it's oh, that's brilliant. reminiscent it of a yeah. feather, yeah. but it's going to be regular or it yeah. looks a bit like a tie at the moment actually. Yeah. So again, I'm using the size of my pliers to push that edge down. Now at this stage, you might stick with your flat facing pliers, but I tend to move to my bent chain nose pliers mm -hmm. and just draw that round as tightly as possible and then give it a squeeze so we're closing that up and it turns into almost like a hairpin on a racetrack so you want to give that a good firm squeeze if it twists it doesn't matter you can twist it back and then moving that back around onto the side I'm going to come in again with my original flat facing pliers mm -hmm. snuggle up to the same place where we put that initial bend in and then repeat this a couple of times and that's how you get the design on the angel wing so I'm just going to finish this one and once you've got sort of four or five of these in a line what I did was I just gently nudged them so that they were slightly narrower at the hairpin than they are at the broadest part okay and just literally just using your hands to give that a squeeze and that brings them in quite neatly. Lovely. So we would repeat that four or five times, however yeah. you want to look. And then we would move on to the upright section of the wing. Mm -hmm. So what I did here was I... Uh, actually, I could use those flat pliers again just to get that same length. There we go. So you can see how I use those to get the same sort of size again. So back to my other pliers, just to draw that around and make it nice and flat again. Sorry, darling, they slipped off. It does. Slippery little it does. suckers. It's because I get warm, my hands get warm, so that's why they slip. There we go. So you get that Brilliant. nice little shape going on. Once you've got enough of these little, should we call them ties or feathers? Feathers. <laughs> feathers. And then I'm just using the warmth of my fingers to generate quite an organic back and forth as you go to the upper section of the wing. Now it looks a bit strange because I've only done two of these here. Uh, but we're not closing up quite so tight this time. Just using 
a combination of the warmth of your hands and the tip of the pliers just to get a little bit of kind of waviness mm. it's a bit of a softer a bit less regular and then we just come round you would do again sort of three or four of those coming up to the tip of the wing and if I just pop in the demonstration piece you'll see so oh, yeah. we would have done four of those little tie yeah. designs at the bottom lots of little wiggles and I'll show you how to get this bend at the top okay pop that one back out of the way so imagine we've got lots of little wiggles coming up here to get the little bend at the top we want it to be above our little that's like our wing joint so we want it almost double the height so you come a little bit further and then drop that coil back around so it's quite firm but not completely closed up like we did with the feather sections mm. again the warmth of the finger just to give a little bit of an upright point there and then what i did to make it look a little bit more celestial is just draw that around like so and it's going in with fair a pair a fair a pair oh. of fine tipped <laughs> pliers <laughs> and just curl that around and you can see just by nudging yeah. you get that almost horn like effect and then we're going to draw again with the warmth of our fingers down over the top of that wing joint warmth of the fingers and you can see we just want those to be like tram lines so they come down side by side mm -hmm. we're going to actually tie them together a bit later so I'm not going to worry about that overly right okay. now and then we take the tail end of the design to make the rear half of the dress. So if you're thinking about in terms of the size of the design you want to end up with, this is your wing, so from tip to joint to base of feather, we want to replicate that size about two thirds of the way. So if this dimension was say four mm -hmm. inches, we'd go for three inches here. Okay. So it just it, aesthetically it looks quite pleasing. So all I'm doing here... A bit is like just a little sleigh then, that way up. <laughs> it's like a little sleigh, <laughs> isn't it? I was just thinking the same thing, yeah. <laughs> With snow coming out the yeah. back, maybe. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I didn't see that, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so just warming that wire through and getting to the point that we want the dress to end. And I, I reckon around about here. So I'm going to hold that quite firmly so I don't lose my place. Pop some pliers in and get quite a firm bend on the end there. Mm -hmm. Draw that back around. Now we do want that to be squeezed but not completely closed because we might decide that we want to add some beads onto that design later. But what we would like to do is generate a bit of a curl and doing that after you've put the bend in gives you a really nice tram lining effect. So you would grip both of those and just allow that wire to work for you. It isn't difficult to make it happen. Even though it's 1.25 mil, you can even use your fingers just to give that a bit of definition. And then you could add another couple, but what we want to end up with is a little swirl underneath that wing joint. So if I bring the demonstration piece back into place, you can see we've made a couple of little skirty swooshes, and then we've got a little open coil yeah. or a little loop on the end. Now if I add in the other side, You'll be able to see, and you can always refer back to this on the YouTube recording if you need to. You can see all I've done is I've started off with a coil yep. exactly the same way as we did on the wing joint. Created a, almost like a head-like shape. Now, I was once told that if you're depicting an angel, you don't give them faces. Yeah. I don't quite know the whole story behind that, but that's what I was told. So, I've given an impression of a head as you can see just there and I've given this angel some hair because why not yeah, exactly <laughs> the beads were all so lovely and different yeah. and beautiful and they work together really nicely it's nice to see seed beads working with wire it's really lovely well it'd be silly for me not yeah. to because that's yeah. that's my that's, thing that's, that's, your thing. <laughs> that's lovely so what we've done is we've got a little curl for the back of the hair an almost face shape a body and then a couple of little swooshes of the dress at the front and you can see when you draw those in together that you just need to kind of oh, sew them into yeah. position. So what I would do is pop uh, some of the 0.5 millimetre gauge wire yep. around those two loops. And to make that easier, you could, if you wanted to, open that lower loop out until you finish sewing around. And then if it pleases, you close it back up again. You might like it to sort of look open. And then again at the bottom, we're looking to sew those two pieces together. 
and then I added using some of the 0.8 millimeter gauge wire and probably in about five or six inch lengths and I just popped a coil on either end and added some beads in with a long tail on either end. So there we go. So that's got a coil on, oops, sorry, let me lift that back up. <laughs> it's got a coil on either end just for decorative purposes and for anchoring. And I can show you just quite quickly how those beads have been anchored onto that 0.8 millimeter gauge. Mm -hmm. But the reason we've got tails on either end is because that enables us to add into the design. Right. And in my head, who knows what it's like in there, it's sort of mothballs and dust bunnies at the <coughs> moment. But amongst that, it looked like the folds of a dress or a gown. Yeah. So I've just popped some of the Swarovski and some of the Opal gilt lined. Yep, gilt lined Opal, yeah. And um, just added those on in, in random orders or three and then one Swarovski. Mm -hmm. So you, you can do that however it pleases you. Yep. And the idea is that that just sits inside the framework and you can use those tails to tie everything together or, or you can just sort of tie it on to one little bit. As long as you go around about three times. Yeah. What a lovely message. I'm sorry, I just had to stop and Lena leave said, oh, oh Gem, a beautiful you. angel created by an angel herself. Thank you, darling. Can I send it me out to the cats? Wow, what a lovely wow. message. Wow. And another one. Sorry, Thank I know you. you're in middle, mid, no, no, mid, mid mate, but these sparkle like Markle did here today. Merce, spark, what? These sparkle like Markle. I think there were snowflakes in, in that area of the world. I or do we mean that's... Meghan Markle? Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but she wasn't here, was she? Was she here? She visited JM. That'd be cool. Was she Nottingham? Ooh. Was she, what did she Ah, they were going on their first formal uh, post announcement ding thing. Was it Nottingham? Ooh, well, get you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, they do sorry. sparkle. They sorry. do sparkle. Yes, the sparkle, sparkle. Okay. Anyway, sorry, darling. Not we digress. Slightest. Let me just grab that bag that has a reel of Noit 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 Point. Noit Noit Point. I, I, so I, where are it from? It be on your combine harvester. It be Noit. I can't do accents at the best of time, but sometimes just they just pop out. <laughs> Noit. <laughs> so what I've done is I've used the remainder of the 0.5 millimeter reel, popped it into a bag, and pre-threaded some of the seed beads and Why did leave it onto the it. Now I pop it into the bag, remembering to seal the bag this time because I didn't earlier on in the week and I threw a reel of wire across the studio which was really not embarrassing in any way shape or form. What this enables you to do is to draw out as many seeds as you want to work with at that point and it stops it all going on the floor. Good idea. It's a good tip. If, it is. What can happen is you can thread a thousand seed beads onto your reel of wire, drop the reel and they go everywhere and it's very very sad so we don't want that to happen. So I'll just show you very, very quickly the basic technique of adding those on to the 0.8mm gauge. Just before you start, Lena mm -hmm. says, Jem, all the cats are snuggled up snoozing in my bed upstairs while I'm cold downstairs watching JM. <laughs> or can you give them a meow and a cuddle and a, a like a, a behind the ear scratch later for me, please? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So what we're going to do is we would on both ends put a little loop on and with these loops we want them to be a little bit tighter so we start quite close to the end. If yeah. I flip that over you'll be able to see that better. Quite close to the end of those round nose pliers and once you get started you can switch to your flat nose pliers. That's very strange doing it at that angle, I will be honest. And then just turn that around, do that same at both ends. Let me just pop this down for a second. And we're going to take the end of our 0.5mm gauge, leaving ourselves a healthy tail so that we can tie onto the main frame. I'm looping around at least three times, leaving the tail just hanging around because you can kind of swap that out later, that's not a problem. Now you see what I've done is I've anchored my design down with my pliers. Yep. And when you're moving things around, like I'm going into my little bag of tricks here, if you don't, that can ping off and then this can slide away and it's just have a little bit of control if you can. It is a kerfuffle, Mike, if that happens. So I've just exited from the bag a couple of beads that we can work with and I'm just going to show you how to add on one of the Swarovskis. I've, at the moment, my fine wire is coming, as I'm looking at it, underneath the 0.8mm gauge. So I'm going to hold the Swarovski in position draw my 0.5 over the top 
and then wrap another three times. And then you can choose to either alternate a bead one side, then the other, or have them all on the one side. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to refer back to the pictures a bit later on or have a look at the one on the bust now, mm -hmm. um, then you'll be able to see that there are two strands in the centre of the piece, which show you... Let me just grab that. I was just going to say, yeah, if you can grab it, that'd be great. Not a problem. On one. There we go. OK. So you can see up the middle, there are two of these freestanding lines which have had seed beads added onto them. And then on the outside, the same technique has been used here. And on the inside, the same technique has been used on there. So you can just go for your life. I've added some Swarovskis up at the top. Um, it's all really accessible, easy for you to do techniques. Maureen just said, hi everyone, love your range and we'll, we'll be making that, thank you. Oh, that's lovely oh, Maureen, lovely. thank you. Thank you. Please do show us on the Wall of Fame if you do have, a, you know, your own version of these. I'd love to see them, I really, really Absolutely. would. Absolutely. After the show, these photographs will be uploaded for you, which yeah. lovely yep. Leah took for us earlier. Yep. So, can I just check, is that Margot in Fife? Because, Margot, if that's you, can I just say I have sent you a thank you card. Thank you so much. She sent me the Swarovski skulls. Oh, how lovely. Made me cry when I got them. Oh, hun. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I've sent you a thank you card and a Christmas card. Oh, how lovely. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, darling. <laughs> so, are, are, is that you done? I am done, yes. If there are any questions at all, you can find me on JM Guest Designer Gem Hawks. That's Gem with a J. Yes, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. And uh, just give me a shout if there's anything that I've missed out or you, you're unsure of. Just, just give me a holler. Can I, thank you, darling. Can thank I just you. mention, I'm a bit concerned. You know this kit with the seed beads? Sorry, let me get that out of your way. There are 37 in baskets and I've got 19 kits left. So this amazing tube of eight, it's unbelievable, this uh, Angel Gabriel uh, deal. On the eight tubes of the Mayuki, Cass just said, Gem, your designs are nearly as amazing as you. Four kisses, you are. Oh, I feel there quite is the weak. love oh, for Gem this year, quite Lots rightfully so. Eight oh, tubes of seed beads, eight tubes of seed beads. And I'm talking every kind of size. We've got size 10 Delicas, size six, size eight. We've got size 11, we've got 11 in the Delicas. Uh, so three tubes of Delicas, and then you've got six eights and elevens, fantastic for vintage, for bridal, for, for, for winter, for, for Christmas. £2.75 a, a tube, guaranteed to sell out. Okay, double the amount in baskets now versus what we've got left, so 50% of you will miss out, so I apologise. Definitely speed is of the essence on that one, okay? So good luck on that. In the meantime, we're going to give you a star buy on storage. When you're treating yourself to eight tubes of storage, uh, eight tubes of um, seed beads, you, need, you do need somewhere to put them. You do. Don't you? You absolutely do. How about a, an actual bead box? It's called a bead box. Look, pee, bead box. Bead box. Bead box. A bead box. <laughs> Not a bead box, a bead box. All right, a nice secure bead. When I say secure... Oh, don't do that, will you? That, when I say secure... That is very firm indeed. Oh, hey. It's technique. Just... Underneath, it's not going to pop out by itself. It, it isn't, is it? <laughs> now you might be thinking, oh, it's broken. No, 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 it isn't. This is brilliant because what these are, what this means is you can actually customize your own box. You can, you can custom. So all you do is you just, what it, what? What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Go on. You can't laugh and then not tell me. Put your hand out. Put your hand up. It was not that hard. It was not hard. Don't be cheeky. And then all you do, you can never have enough stuff on with you, Samantha. And she's an engineer. She's a qualified Definitely. engineer. Oh, she oh knows qualified her. engineer. Sausages. And then all you, yeah, the good news is you just snap these up. I don't want to do it in case anybody, I don't want to take them off, but you snap those off 
And the great thing is when you put those into position, that's a little non-slip section for your fingers to go on. So it's easy to grab because if that was just didn't have those, you, you, it might slip a bit. And you just put your finger on there. It's brilliant. It's br and then you just slot them in. It has been very well thought about, yeah. It's nice. I've got loads, loads of these. Mark Smith, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell on him now. <laughs> Mark Smith has got that many storage boxes. He's got boxes to just store his dividers in. <laughs> That's how many he's got. But the lovely thing is, is you've got the, the see-through lid, so you haven't got to keep up. I've got some plastic boxes in my garage. Drive me mad, they do. Bought from the bought them from the big DIY store, but they've got a black lid. That's good. So I have to take the lid off to see no, what's in it. How no, stupid that's just that. rude. It's just, that's just not rude. thought through, is it? No, it's not thought through. It's not thought through. So, see-through lid, genius. Exactly what you want because you want to see what's in there. Totally customized, customizable. Because sometimes you've got components that are longer than a single co compartment would be, so yeah. you just leave one out and you've got a double. And. That's absolutely fantastic. They are yeah. really, really good. And stackable. Now, I've got a desk in my study where I keep um, my little treats. And that, you know, sometimes you have a desk drawer. They're shallower. Yes. Like you can just get a stapler in. Yes, you can. Just about. These go in. They go in my desk anyway. Fantastic. Mm, they do. So, and I'm going to see if I... I think it's because I've got oil on... Oh. I think it's because I've got... Do you know what it is? You've oiled your hands. I've oiled my hands. There you go. I think we've proven the point that it's a very strong box. They it's, are. And it's, only, it's not a problem. It's only because I've got oil, or cuticle oil on my hands. So that I'm so a bit slippy. But listen, listen, you ready? Ready? Oh, ready? I'd like to apologise for the giggling going on in the studio, but um, I've just had the weirdest thing in my ear, haven't we? I'm not saying a thing. I'm giving it a straight and professional face. I don't even know if I'm comfortable sharing that with everybody. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm sure. It's a great storage box, Zena. I love it. You know, one of it's the best things about the box is... shocking. If you turn it upside down, the beads don't fall out. When the oh, lid's on, sorry, they don't have your sleeve under the arm. <laughs> this is a very good point. Joking aside, if I can show you, so I'm not going to tell you what my director said because it just doesn't make sense, bless him. <laughs> what you do it, can you see? I don't know whether you can see in here, but Jem's quite right. Those dividers that you put in, can you see? Look, there is no, it, it's flush with the lid of the box. Can you see that? If I turn it that way, can you see? There you go, look. Can you see? Flush with the ceiling of the box. So actually, if that's in the car or on your travels or in your bag and it does go, they're not going to all mix in with one another and make friends. And sometimes what you want to do is store them in a larger box yep. with their ends up and then you can use a marker pen to sort of write what's in each one yep. and, and you've got easy, quick access to them. Absolutely. Rather than having to lift four or five boxes out, you can yep. see exactly what you've got. But the fact that they're customisable as well. Yeah, that's really handy. But it's just brilliant yeah. it really is brilliant fantastic what a great little box that is um how many do we have sorry ah we had a hundred should have been 6.95 as well the difference between these and the ones that you will find in the inexpensive shops is immeasurable the quality of the plastic oh, the bend of the body when you open the ones that you get from the inexpensive shops and believe you me i've tried i've tried them as well they waggle around then they're, they're not very sturdy you've got no faith in them at all you don't have faith in them and when you close them they don't stay closed no. so these are exceptional they are quality. brilliant brilliant quality fantastic um, so well done everybody, congratulations, fantastic price point, brilliant, 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 brilliant. So well done. Right, I'll tell you what, Gem, I'm going to walk back over Gordon. Now, this could be interesting because I've got a chair to take, I've got a pad to take, I've got... Tell you Phil, I've got a... I've got a right, said Fred, both of us together. Da, 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 da. Thank you darling, you can't take the chair, that just, that just comes out. Thank you, darling. Excuse me, everybody. It's a bit more hectic to move over these days, so sorry about that. Right then, you can text in if you want to ask us any questions or share any of your... Uh, in fact, have you put, has anybody put their tree up today? As it's the 1st of December. Yeah? Ma Mike's putting his up on Monday, apparently. 
You're putting yours up on Monday? That's because it's their day off. That's why. Um, right then, what treat can we slot in? Yeah, of course. Ooh, clear quartz. Oh, it's a blast from the past, isn't it? When I first started on jewellery maker, we used to have lots of lovely clear quartz, and everybody loved it. It was an absolute essential in your stash. And now it's like gold dust clear quartz, isn't it? It really is very rare to see these very days. Very rare. see it faceted. Yes. It's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Amazing. This I love for my bridal designs. Yeah. It's glacial, isn't it? It's just adorable. Faceted rondelles of clear quartz. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Clear quartz at 5 95 That is just... Well, dare I say we're practically giving it away at that price. Faceted as well. And graduated. And a nice generous 29 centimeter strand and the lovely thing about clear quartz is you never waste a millimeter do you i mean if you pop that with stunning clear uh, uh, chrome dark side you know you've got that mix of that beautiful clear quartz and that lovely deep rich gorgeous green look look at that it's a fantastic contrast gemstone that's glorious isn't it so chrome darts will be clear course. That's going to go lovely. Bridal, as, as Gems just said. You pop it as well with something all and go sort of nautical and go with a beautiful bright neon appetite with clear course. Great thing is you can go for every colour variation. You can go turquoise, you can go red garnet, you can go golden obsidian, sapphire, purple amethyst, and it will work with all of those. Now Samantha's just said sparkle tastic. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You what, darling? My tree goes up Christmas Eve, not an hour sooner. All right, then. Okay. <laughs> that told me. <laughs> Mind you, that's a, that's a nice time to set it up, actually, Christmas Eve. It, Isn't that lovely? It is quite a lovely thing to do. Yeah. I mean, as long as you give yourself enough time to do all the bits you need to do for the following that's day. The if thing, you celebrate yeah, big, big, yeah. But no, I, I yeah, think that's I quite think sweet. I quite like that, actually. I do like that. Ours usually goes up the weekend before. D yeah, does it? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't put my mine didn't go up the last two years. I wanted to, but we fell. I didn't want to put it put the tree up, and I was like, oh, I was wrong. I'm putting my tree up this year. I put my tree up. I'm putting my tree up. Um, so yeah, Christmas tree, five ninety five. Oh, now we've been asked to do, show that. Oh, there's only twenty left. Okay, we've been asked to show it again, have we? Okay, no problem. We can do that. Oh, sorry, not those, darlings. Which remind me, darling? Sorry, which ones? You, I don't think I've got them in here anymore, have I? Oh, the magnetic, sorry. Thank you, you lovely girl. Thank you so much. We've been at, there's 20 left, apparently. Thank you, Jim. These are the jingle bells of Jewelry Maker. They're in rose gold plating, yellow gold plating. Fantastic, strong, beautiful magnetic glass. There are eight of each, um, just to show you what they look like, independently of one another. And they're really simple. They've got a loop on each side for you to connect to, whether you want to make a bracelet, a necklace, earrings, and then you just... You just, look, ready, ready, you just get them close together. Magnet's really strong and that is it. Super simple to do up. Super, super simple. Fantastic strong. Now, we did start out with about 100 of those, I think. We've got 17 left now of those. I think they was, is it 75p each we got those two? 75 pence for a magnetic clasp in the gold plating and the and the rose gold plating eight of each fantastic price point they're 10 mil so again we were saying earlier if you put them with like a an 8 mil 10 mil 12 mil necklace with a round they're going to look really really complimentary as well and just fantastic to to, to do up once I, I do think though once you spoil yourself with a magnetic clasp and you understand the ease of doing up and undoing a piece of jewelry You'll be tempted to never go back, I'll tell you. You will be smitten. Yeah, you really will. You'll be, mm. yeah, but the trouble is you're going to want to add, the only thing, note to self, you're going to want to add them to every piece of jewellery you've got, you'll become <laughs> obsessed. I will just mention that. It's like when you have a car and you go from electric, you know, you go from wind-up windows to electric windows, would you ever go back? Not would on you go purpose. Back? No, would you go back from a yellow, <laughs> you know, from a, from a colour telly to a black and white telly? Oh, no. No. <laughs> Same thing with your magnetic. There'll be no going back. You'll be like, oh, Clashner uses magnetic in every piece of jewellery. My friend Anne 
says that she has started wearing jewellery again thanks to magnetic clasps because she found the little a lobster claw because they can be a little bit especially if you've got any sort of you know any arthritic type challenges or any sort of you know it, no it's, it's absolutely true it's a very it's valid true. point that yeah. if you are um slightly lower on mobility they're really yeah. really useful they really are really and handy. speed mm -hmm. you know everything's fast paced these days magnetic on off on off simple uh right and the good news is brilliant hour of deals coming up and don't forget as well today's must have it after the break Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields, and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We have three gorgeous tubes of super, super duos in magic. Oh, my goodness me, these colours are amazing. Um, really amazing. They're, the only thing to mention, it is a very, very, very limited kit, my darlings, for the today's must have. We're going to do back to back. We're going to have super duos, followed by magatamas. For those of you waiting to get the magatamas, these are gorgeous. So they, we're talking about super duo. We've got them in this lovely gold shine. Goldshine Okra Beads or Okra Beads. We've got the um, Halo Celestial. Um, what a lovely idea that is. What a lovely name. Halo Celestial Blue Beads. And the Magic Blue Pink Beads. Now, these are... A can you see those incredible pinks in there? There's a real rainbow of colours, actually, in these. Real rainbows. Those are your uh, Magic Blue Pink Beads. Now, Super Duo are um fantastic they're absolutely well they are they're super they've got duo as in they've got two two holes in them they're all beautifully crafted to be the same size so 2.5 by 5 mil um and 
I've seen some fantastic designs by our seed beaders. I mean, think how many guest designers that, that work with our seed beads. I mean, let's see if we can, gosh, <laughs> I'm thinking Sarah Elvin, Mark Smith, Joe Barkley Logie, Alison Tarry, Jill Hunter. Jill Hunter, Katie Dean. Oh, I'm going to be missing. Gemma. Gemma Crow. Jem Hawks today has used seed beads. <laughs> Laura uh, Binding has recently used seed beads. Deb Rudge likes to do seed beads. Leah on cameras likes to do seed beads. Hannah Osborne, guest designer, does seed beads as well. The super duos are very, very popular. Very, very popular. And they make the most fantastic designs. They really, really do. Really pretty. And the thing is, super duos, magatamas, we expect to pay more for, don't we? Yes. The Aston Martin of the seed beads. Well, we're going to give you, despite that fact, we're going to give you three tubes of Super Duos. Sadly, I only had 63 available for 4 99 a tube, which, let's face it, for Super Duos is fantastic. Gorgeous colours, beautiful colours. Um, very, very popular indeed, these. So you've got these lovely blues, beautiful blues. The blues with the pinks. I love the blue with the pink. I love this one in the centre, this one here. That is your halo celestial blue beads. What a delightful description. Then you've got the uh, magic blue, and they are, they're blue and pink. They're so cool, those. And then you've got that really gorgeous gold shine in the okra bead. They're just lovely, adorable. We do have the Makatamas coming up. 63 chances, that's it. That's all the work, wasn't it, Phil? Right then, half the stock's gone. Wow. That's how quick these are going. As you can see there, we've got um, customers coming in from Holland. Have you been to Holland, Jim? I have been to Holland, yes. In 2008. How For a music festival. To what? For a music festival. A music festival? It was, yes. Ah. It was fantastic. Do you remember any of it? I remember all of it, thank you. <laughs> I like going to a music festival. They're good fun, aren't they? They are, absolutely. Yeah. And the Dutch are an amazing people. The Dutch. I can't remember if I've been to... I don't know if I have been to Holland. Oh, you'd love it. I don't think I have. There's, people are so friendly and giving and wa warm and welcoming and oh, just okay. lovely. Let's go to Holland then. Should we go for a weekend trip? Should we do a weekend we should. trip to yeah. Holland? Shall we? Definitely. Yeah, right then. Celeste has just messaged in and Celeste says, Yay to Celestial Beads. Love Celeste, she says. <laughs> I uh, like that. I get I like it. it. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> celestial blue beads, it says. Halo celestial. I like it. Um, so, oh, right. Okay, we're nearly down to single figures, aren't we, Phil? Oh, okay. Sorry. We've got 19 remaining, apparently, out of 63 chances. Um, just lovely. Really, really lovely. Now, as I... I tell you what. Monday night... I filmed disc one of a um, Mark's Memorable Makes with Seed Beads, or Mark's Memorable Seed Mead Makes. I'll get my words out in a minute, Seed Bead Makes. Um, we are filming the second of the DVDs, which includes Super Duos, on Sunday evening with Mark Smith, and it's been launched Christmas Day morning. All right, so um, if you want to suck up on your Super Duos ahead of this Seed Bead uh, DVD coming out, Joe Barkley Logie launching a Seed Bead DVD next Thursday the 7th as well. So lots of CB DVDs come out this year, have come out this year already, still yet to be launched, including Christmas Day. So great to get your stash ready on these. We are now in single figures on the Super Duos. All right. So good luck on that lovely deal. Would you like the Magatamas as well? It's a double today's must have. Surely that's a must, must have. A must, must have. Makes sense to me. I, yes. Now I only, I have less of this treat. 43 chances. Look at these. Now, in fact, I might have to turn the board around so we can see if we can fit the last better. There we go, we can fit them all on there. Let us go left to right on these. Now, we have got the Mayuki Magatamas that everybody's in love with. Colour-wise, we've got um, black, black in 4 mil. We've got the... These are all the 4 mil, by the way, because you do different lengths of Magatamas, but these are all 4 mil. You've got black, matte black, silver-lined Capri Blue, silver-lined Ruby, transparent grey AB, 
and transparent mint green AB, which are just coming to the forefront there. Love those. They are every single one of those is just stunning incredible aren't they what a collection together though exactly i mean great myriad of color isn't there uh, really really lovely i love the matte tones i think they're absolutely gorgeous um this blue is just sensational the transparent gray is going to go i'm just going to say one two three four five six tubes of magatamas I remember the first time I saw Joe Barkley Logie do a demonstration with Kumahimo with these. Oh my word, fell in love with Magatamas instantly on that day. How do you fancy, you know we went to £2.75 on my Yuki earlier, how, how do you fancy our Magatamas? £3.33 per tube. Oh yeah, for Magatamas. Now I know that you know that that is sensational value for money, isn't it? On a Magatama, they are flying out the door. There were 43 chances, and I'm afraid they're nearly gone already. That's a poof, you don't know. I'll tell you what, I, what? Why are you giggling? You are giggle chops tonight, aren't you, Missy? I love it. She's make up. She's, she's Sorry. She's, she's, she's I have giggle got the chops. giggles. She has got, she's got the giggles. It I was like just it. your impression of the Magatamas disappearing <laughs> out the door. Poof. <laughs> small things, small but, minds. You know, um, they are. Uh, how many? There's 13 left. 13 left. Oh no, hang on, there's 11 because Anne's just had two in Stirlingshire. Sorry, darlings. So if you fancy. Oh, hang on, another two just gone to a collector in London. We're down to nine. Nine chances left. Gorgeous colours in the blues, the reds, the mint green, the black, the transparent grey, these capri colours. Absolutely gorgeous. £3.33 a tube. Have you got any of the previous kit left with the Super Duos, darling? So, single figures. All right, so nine left, darlings, on the Super Duos. Nine left on the Super Duos, if you want those. Magatamas are about to go. So, Francis, Amanda, Collector, Judith, Collector, Samantha, Mary just had them as well on the phone. Collection Greater London just coming on the phone and had two. Um, six chances left gosh you had those quickly didn't you not surprising though is it today's double must must have fantastic array of colors sorry five chances left now on the magatamas if you want them three pounds 33 per tube they are about to sell out the super duos there is now seven chances left on those a cheeky treat for you there you lovelies we like a cheeky treat don't we yeah like a cheeky treat yeah my post, he got a, a cheeky treat. I gave him a mad... Is it a Madeline? Madeline? Oh, like the little overly cake things? Yeah. Yes. Is it a Madeline? Madeline, it's a Madeline. Yeah. Madeline. That, is, is it Madeline? Madeline. Madeline. I think so. Anyway, I gave him one of them today. He's very happy. <laughs> was very happy he was. Um, I gave my post an ice lolly in July. It was really, really roasting. Oh. He was so pleased. Proper chuffed. He's a bit of a treat, don't yeah. they? When we window cleaners are counted out, it was, it, I could see the cold air coming out of his mouth. <laughs> I said, do you want a hot drink? He went, no, I'm all right. Do you want a hot cup of tea or coffee? I could see the air coming out of his mouth. Oh, I'm all right. I said, oh, okay. All right, then. All right. Um, ooh. Um, Leah, yeah. could I pass those over to you out my, out my way? Because so I'm going to knock them all over the floor, aren't I? Stands, yeah, good chance of that happening, isn't there, with, with, with me elbows. Me and seed beads as well, yeah. <laughs> well, I spoke to Mark the other day and I was on the phone to him and he went, Oh! Fuck, I won't say, tell you what word he said. I said, what? He said, I've just spilt, I, I didn't tie a knot and I'm on the phone to you and I've just spilt my seed beads all over the floor. I said, oh, sorry. Sorry, Mark. Oops. Sorry. I've got some Jasper. Oh, yeah. Big Jasper. In heart. You two, what is going on now? Tell you later. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Jasper. Hearts. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Tell you what I've got as well coming up later. I've actually got a Jasper cross that would go nice on those. Wow. What do you think about that? 
a very verdant jasper, isn't it? Isn't it just? So I've got that jasper cross coming up as a star by shortly as well. Mm -mm -mm. Now they're very impressive. Um, delicious, delicious sort of fern greens and teal greens and beautiful browns on there. It's a very unusual jasper that, isn't it? What a delightful strand. I'm gonna have an idea. I'm just gonna have a little count if you don't mind. I wanna see how many's on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Gosh, fifteen, sixteen, it's twenty on there. That's very generous. Very generous. And a twenty mil. I'm gonna show you some of these individually in a minute when we've gone all the way along. Look at look at these. Can you see these here? Look, they're like a moss fern. See, look, look at that. Can you see? How fascinating that jasper heart is. That's fantastic. Isn't that lovely? That's a very beautiful jasper. It's a very beautiful jasper. Lovely, lovely. If I can just show you some of these. Now, the good news is, as well, that is not your price on the Lake Show today. We are going massive saving. That's a £6 saving. That's today and tomorrow. It's post and packaging if you pay two ninety five, isn't it? Fantastic. Effectively. Two days worth of post and packaging, mainland UK, £2.95. And don't forget as well, 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, I've been ordering a few things online because I haven't had time to go out and shop anything for Christmas yet. And there's such a variety of, of, of online price points for delivery, isn't there? Oh, my gosh. It's, it's it really incredible. can take your breath away. I saw something advertised on a social media site and it looked like a real bargain yeah. until you saw that the postage was £12. Oh. £12 UK to UK. £12. And this was for a, a thing that was paper. So people oh. obviously... A bit canny when they're making their money on the postage. I was aghast and I didn't purchase the item. Why should we start when you buy a ticket? I've just bought paid for a concert for my dad for his birthday. Oh. Yeah, and they just add on £2.50 or £3.50 for just some admin charge. You're like, it's online. What admin charge? Yeah. And then there's another fiver. Just, just... And it's just, and you just have to accept it. And you think that you're saving money if you opt for an e-ticket. Mm. And then they still charge you anyway. Yeah, and you've got to print it off yourself. Oh, I know. How rude. Oh, don't start me. So there's no virtual download no. of a fancy Jasper Puffy heart you're here. You've got to print your own Jasper. It'd be great, though, wouldn't it, if you could? <laughs> <laughs> but you can print your own authenticity card. Oh, yeah. You can print your own authenticity card with Jewelry Maker. Yeah, oh, yes, you can. And again, we don't charge £2.50, 25p. That's it. Poor authenticity card. You can either call the call centre on the number at the bottom of the screen, ask them to add one to your order, or if you, if you like to buy online, you can, just, you can just download it yourself. Just do it yourself. Mm. £7.95. They're lovely. Just the hearts. Oh, mookites oh, in flowers. Mookite in flowers. Mookite flowers, aren't they? I want to try and show you them all if I can because there's so many different flat, different colours in mookite, all of which work beautifully together. Look at those, aren't they lovely? Little space room between each. Can you see? Look, that little space room between each one as well. We we'll give you those as well on the strand. It's like a, a free handful oh. of little beady beads. Yeah. How cute. Yeah, really lovely. Now the lovely thing about mukite is, let's be honest. If we didn't know any better, we would think that they were enhanced artificially with colour, wouldn't we? You know. But they're they're not enhanced by man at all, other than a lovely five petal cut. You know, the, the, just cut into the flower with the five petals and polished, obviously. I think we're going to have to speak to HR about Mike, our director, because he's really not conducive to being helpful in his show, is he? <laughs> it was a thought. He's trying to suggest, would that be a Christmas card holder? It's like, no, Mike, that's not the idea. I'll tell you what, there would be, though. That'd be a great I, ring. I go straight for a oh, ring. I think with so, those. don't you? And I just adore Mookite. I can't talk about it enough. No, I mean, I'll, 
And they, you know, if you think about the land from where it comes, it, it makes under. you think about that. You get the, the sandy tones, you, you get those beautiful earthy reds, you get the ochres. I'll tell you what, having visited the outback, and I'm talking about the serious outback in Australia, I'm talking about where you land on a little tiny six-seater aeroplane and the nearest town of seven people is 350 kilometres away from where you are. I've been in the proper outback. Um, and these are the colours that you see. It's just, it really is reminiscent of a beautiful, a beautiful Australia. Now, Samantha just said, oh, with those kyanite, really? I'll put it on for you, my lovely girl. If, oh, I can't, I've still got them. Oh, they're not here. Adam's tidied up. Adam, our floor manager, has tidied up. So, sorry, darling, I don't have um, the kyanite to hand to show you, sweetie. Sorry about that. I'll tell you what I do have. i tell you what I do have to show you. I have Marquis shaped London blue topaz, which is going to be our last star buy in an hour and a half. Oh, I'll tell you what, we do have the kyanite, Samantha. He hasn't tidied up that well. We've found it. <laughs> Lee has untidied up. That. I personally wouldn't go with the two of those, but that's just me. That's but this is the great thing about making jewelry, isn't it? What Samantha likes, what I like, what you like, Jem, could all be different. Oh, definitely, and have all, all the choices. Yeah. When you're making jewelry, putting your strands together first will give you the opportunity to try it before yeah. you put yeah. all the effort into making. Absolutely. It's beautiful. That's the lovely thing. So Samantha, you might fancy that. I bet there's loads of people fancy that. Yeah. But I tell you what, we're going to give you a, a look at these. I mean, that almost look almost borderline looking. Some of these with the markings and things look like tiger's eye. Some of them. They're lovely. I've actually got a big number of flowers on there. Really pretty in the colours. Mukai is adorable. $9.95. Fantastic. Oh, bless you. You're all right. I'm cold. You're bless cold. You. Adam. He's not here. Can we have 50p in the heating meter? I don't mind giving 50p <laughs> my wages. It's like a fridge in here. It's actually like a fridge. Thank. Oh, I can hear a bit of heat coming on. Thank you. Mind you, my boiler's been broken for, the, for, for a bit, and I think oh, no. I've only just had my boiler fixed this week. Aww. So I think I'm cold to the bones. Thank you, Leah. Can I show you what's going to go lovely with those mookites? Look. Now that's a. Do you like that combination? I do. Yeah. Again, I probably wouldn't have thought of that. That's a lovely tone of pearl, mm. and you will find with mukite that there are lavenders and quite hot purples yeah. in places. Really lovely. So I'm thinking that would go great. So the lavender pearls. I've only got nine left. That colour is natural. Lovely size. Five by three mil. Not a, not a usual size or shape that we have. No, not at all. An mm. absolutely gorgeous shape. Yeah, it's the shape we like, isn't it? It is. It's good we to do. be shapely. It is nice to be shapely. Lovely for bracelets, lovely for... I'll tell you what, the oh, hang on a second, I've had an idea, Gem, when you... She's got the giggles again. Do you know what I'm thinking that would be lovely for, shape-wise? Yes. Channel set. Be absolutely perfect Wouldn't for it? channel setting. I did a crown for Renaissance Day and yeah. they had quite large shell pearls around the forehead section. That would make it so different and so delicate. Yeah. And you've got so many. They're what beautiful. Did we mention? Absolutely stunning. It'd be a metre. A metre. And they're all natural. Okay, guess what? The reason we've got nine left did have. We go lowest price ever. Should be thirty-three ninety-five. Well, let's face it, for a metre is phenomenal. Got eight left. Are you ready? Best price ever. Never seen before at this price point on the Late Show for you. Twenty-one ninety-five. Oh. Um. Okay. I can't quite believe that. I'd, I'd, I'd buy that for the dollar. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is unbelievable. And that, those, those lavender tones are completely... Na I mean, just imagine how many bracelets you could make. Look, you don't need to Im Im imagine. Let me oh. show you there. Six bracelets. 
six pearl bracelets or a six stacker pearl bracelet. So totally there with you. Ding dong. Most definitely all of the Terry Thomas. Absolutely. Right, all our regulars are coming in for those, aren't you, my darlings? Helen and Chris in Norfolk were the first ones to check out. There were nine left only. In fact, we've now got one, two, three, four, five. I think we're down to three, is it? Three left? Yep, yeah, three chances left on that. 33.95. We have now we're uh, into Holland again. We've got a lovely collector in Holland coming in on those as well. We are, uh, oh, Julie, just ever be, be ever so quick, Julie, lovely in Hampshire. Uh, the collector of Holland's got them. Julie, we're down to, is it two? Two left. Two chances left. Oh, Julie, don't. Oh, oh I do panic when I see people like, oh, oh she's got them. Oh, we're going to, oh, Julie's got them. I was a bit worried about you then, Julie. I was thinking, Julie, and we're, we're, you're sort of championing people to get them, aren't you? You do. Yeah, especially at that price. <laughs> No, I, was, I know you're not worried because you're probably nice and warm at home. That doesn't feel like it's warm. Can I, well, can I have just a degree less of cold? Yeah. Thanks. Sorry, everybody, but you're all like, oh, really, Zine, shut up. But it's freezing. It's going to be cold in here. Sorry, Jem. You're all right, Trina. He knows he's going to fall off, man. Oh, 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 no. Oh. No way! Excuse me a sec. Gem Hawks. <gasps> Hessonite Garnet. That's so dreamy. Look at those colour variations. Look at the length. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to hold that out so that as, as Gem is just quite, because she saw it from across the studio. We have got all the colours of Hessonite Garnet. Rare Hessonite garnet in un I mean, I can't. Firstly, I can't believe we've got Hessonite garnet. Secondly, I can't believe that we've got all the variational, uh, very sort of variational tones of Hessonite garnet. Thirdly, the icing on the absolute Christmas cake is the blooming length. Ninety-eight centimeters. If I'd have known we had this in the vault, it would it would have been in my basket. Oh my word, rare Hessonite garnet. Oh my goodness me, that's a no-brainer. Get an, I, I would suggest, I'll cut me get, don't do as you I would suggest quite strongly, <laughs> if I may, that you add an authenticity card to those. I'd want to prove they were Hessonite garnet, wouldn't you, hon? Oh, most definitely. That's absolutely staggeringly beautiful. And the glitter off of those is just amazing, absolutely glorious. Genuinely, if I was at home, I think it wouldn't just be one that was no, popping in my basket. One of those. <laughs> no way. Not at that price point as well. 72 carats of, of garnet and they're beautiful graduated faceted. Helen and Chris, boom, straight. And you know a deal when you see one, aren't you? And don't you rather, darling. Uh, Sue Jane Suffolk as well. The collector's coming in on this. Sorry, did you say how many the word did you say? There's 11 left. Sorry, I do apologise. I, I couldn't recall. <gasps> oh my goodness me, they're nearly gone already. Uh, Diane in Essex, uh, Brian and Angela, Lynn, Sue Jane. Everybody's a little bit in shock. There was a little bit of a, a satellite delay there. Twenty-one ninety-five. It is a first come, first served on those. They are sparkly. They are absolutely natural. But for me, it's that variation of tone. Most definitely, it I mean, really that, is. It's the heart of garnet for me. The hessonite. It gives you the fire. It gives you the passion. Isn't I've that never just seen glorious? so many variations of colour of hessonite no, in it's one strand. Just never. Stunning. Just stunning. They, they are. In fact, can I just show you one sort of, just one sort of full section there? Look. Imagine how many, I mean, in a metre of bracelet, in a metre, you'd make six bracelets easily. Uh, oh, Pauline, darling, there are, sorry, how many left, Phil? Oh, there's four left. There are four, that's just a small section. The, 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 the strand is 98 centimetres. The variation of tone is utterly, utterly gorgeous. I mean, imagine those with fire opal. Do you know it's where my mind is going already? Yeah. yeah. Fire opal with those would look sunny, stunning. Or with sunstone, that'd look gorgeous as well. Oh, it um, would. Yeah, old Pauline's got the well done, Pauline. I'm down to three chances on those now. Well done. Well done. They are just, just lovely. Oh, did you just say? Oh. Well, I've got these here. Oh, they're like a, these are like a, like, almost like a 
midnight blue. I think we've referred to them as black pearls, but I'm going to go midnight blue. I really am. They say black, but I don't know about you. I'm, I'm thinking midnight blue. Oh, definitely. There's a shock of midnight there. Midnight blue. Even seeing a little hint of teal. Oh, there's definitely teal in there, darling. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word! Wow! Oh, that is fun. Oh, and I tell you what, in the, in, the, um, in the lighting box there, you can really see the teal come to the forefront of those midnight blue. I know it says black. Sometimes black it does look like a, a midnight blue, actually. Um, but they are just gorgeous. And I tell you what, that's a really um, popular colour of evening wear. That sort of midnight blue. It is, or yeah. petrol blue. Because petrol. black can be quite harsh. Yes, so to have that hint of colour yeah. in there. Well, it's like I've got a navy blue dress that I wore on, on stage last Saturday when I was singing in a review. And um, I wanted some, and I got, thankfully, some midnight blue pearls like this that were deemed as black pearls. But uh, it really complemented the dress beautifully because when you wear white pearls or black pearls, they just didn't quite match the dress right. And I yeah. got patent. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, to mention, I had, I had like a, this colour in patent court shoes. And I'll tell you what, with the lustre of the of the paint and shoes with the pearls of this tone. It looked yeah. brilliant. Oh, I bet it. It really did look lovely. It How really fabulous. did. fabulous. 7 95 but Samantha, they are a lovely pair. Oh, sorry, 10 left. They are a lovely sort of uh, midnight blue. Do you know my friend as well? She said, I'll video you singing. I said, oh, great. And then I went round. I said, can I have a look? She went, well, I've got something to say. I go, go on. She said, you look great in it. I went, yeah. She said, but I recorded it without the volume on. Oh. I went, oh, in fact. She's she filmed, filmed me singing and I can't hear myself. Well, at least she looked good, darling. <laughs> so she said she wouldn't show me. I don't know what she probably didn't. You could dub it <laughs> while sing over it. All right. No, I don't like it when you have those adverts, when they're like, you know, what are they normally sending something and they overdub the voice? It's normally usually paste or something, isn't it? Some kind of healthcare item yeah. that's been imported from it's Germany. So obviously, <laughs> not the person speaking. It's slightly out of sync as well, isn't it? You think, what would I? What's wrong with their voice? Perhaps it's me. Do you want some toothpaste? <laughs> <laughs> right then, the lovely. Sorry? Are we? Oh, hang on, I've just been told we're going to do a lovely treat for you now. Um, I've got to, I hope Mirabelle's watching, because Mirabelle, I happen to know, uh, collects crosses, and these are in genuine gemstones. You get three of them, and it's going to be your next star buy. <laughs> Three gorgeous crosses in three different gemstones. Malachite, Jasper, and Howlite. So these are lovely crosses. What I like about these is the depth to them. They're a deep... If I can show you, actually, if I lie one down to show you. Real, real deep cross. Now, that's unusual. It is. Isn't it? They tend to be more of a sliver. Yeah. You'd expect it to be about the third of that depth. Yeah, You definitely. really would. Oh, lovely. So the loop is in position on each one, so nice and secure. You could wear these on any length. I'm just thinking if you managed to get the pearl coloured wire in the kit earlier and did in the 1.25 mil, and you did a lovely torque necklace and did it as almost a choker design. Perfect. Yeah? Absolutely perfect. But equally as lovely on a 36, 30 inch nice long chain as well. They do look good, yeah. worn quite low, actually, yeah. yeah. I've also got it in a lovely jasper. So we had those hearts in jasper earlier. So I've got it in. And again, the, the lovely thing about the jasper is they'll all come in different tones because there's so many different tones of jasper. Would they look okay on a bracelet? Or on, like, a charm? I would have said, yeah. Do you want to see there, look, if I show you, it kind of... I would have said, yes. I suppose everybody's different. I would wear that. I would happily wear that as a charm. Some people might think that's too big. I would wear that as a charm, would you? On a yeah, bracelet. I, I think it's perfectly wearable as a charm. Uh, but if you didn't want to wear it like that, you could wire it to a bangle. So weave yourself up a bangle ah, and then have it if, as part where, of the design. Where the cross does the crossing over bit, yeah. you could replicate a rope 
design with some wire and just hold it onto the cross in oh, that that's fashion. that's a good idea. So there's different ways that you can utilise it. You don't ah, necessarily have to use the loop. Good idea. That's a good idea. That's why she's the guest designer. No, I haven't shown you the malachite yet, have I? So the malachite... Oh yeah, beautiful malachite. I love the shape of these crosses. Look at those. Now the thing is, you do get all of these. When we bring the price in, you're going to think it's per cross. Don't be cross with us, will you? No. <laughs> Hello! Um, yes, we, we, we have done that. We, um, I'll tell you what, if you need to get some Christmas presents, you could cross them off your list with these, couldn't you? Oh. Hey? Sorry, I shouldn't make jokes, really, should I? But we've been doing puns all evening. We've been doing puns all evening. It's... They're lovely, aren't they? Really lovely shape. Really, really lovely look. Look at those. Love the how light. In fact, oh, which one's your favourite, Jim? Oh, now that's really hard to say. I like the Howlite because I like Howlite in its natural form. It's really cool. Yeah. But to see Malachite yeah, cast a, like yeah. this, that's something quite spectacular. Mm. It's uh, a, a tricky gemstone to get to take a form. So to have that carved in that shape is absolutely gorgeous. So they've got the Jasper's fascinating. They are, aren't they? But I tell you what, what a lovely, lovely, symbolic, beautiful design in the cross. Um, I, I do love to wear um, a cross design. I just think they're, they're, they're beautiful. I really do. I really, really do. I think they're just lovely. Really look. That equates to £2.32. That's not a price I'd associate with any carved gemstone. No, but especially not at with all. The, the malachite. It's just really yeah. spectacular. And the really beautiful spectacular. cross symbol as well is just really, really lovely. So each one of those, if you think about it, I'm just going to check as well for you. Have we got a carat weight per um, gemstone, Phil? Because I'd be intrigued to see what carat weight they are, because they look very substantial. So the malachite and the jasper are 10 carats each, and the howlite is 15 carats. So gosh, that's it. I thought it would be a big carat weight. I did. That is Beautiful. substantial. Yeah. yeah. And I love them because they're a beautifully shaped cross as well. They're really, really, really lovely. £2.32 each. Fantastic price point. Love them. Look, look at this. I want to show you on the cross with the how light as well. Let me just show you this look. See, look. Ready? If I turn this around, just show you. Look, so on the one side it looks, you've got that. And then look, watch this because of how light. Ready? Ready? Isn't that lovely? Not beautiful. I'd happily pay six ninety five for one of those. Oh, easily. Let alone all three. Yeah, most definitely. That's cracking. They value. are beautiful, beautiful. Well done, everybody. Well done. What a great, great deal. Can you write the code down for me on those, sweetie? Because I've got some friends that wear crosses as well, and I'd like to treat a certain friend of mine to those. Yeah, I know exactly how I'm going to treat my, treat somebody to that too for a Christmas present. Mm, really lovely, wouldn't it? Lucy rang me up yesterday. We had a right little gossip presenter, Lucy. A right little gossip we did yesterday. Like, yeah, you know, just a little... Because I just assumed she'd want me to change her shift or something. She said, no, just rang for a gossip. I said, oh, OK. Lovely little chin wag. It's nice. Um, right there. Oh, my goodness me. Where's the time going tonight? Where's it going? It's flying tonight. Oh, I fancy at the minute. Fancy a mince pie? I bought some You bought some today? You didn't bring them in? Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, Sunday night, Sunday night we've got a lemon drizzle cake. I bought a lemon drizzle cake for Sunday. I've got to have cake on Sunday, haven't you? Mm. I love this strand. One fabulous design to another. Lapis lazuli, unisex anyway, 
and then we go and bring it really modern day, really contemporary, despite all that fantastic history of your lapis, and we've cut them into these really cool corner drill cubes. And they're just, do you know what they make me think of? They make me think of like uh, dice in a board game. So I feel really nostalgic about them. You know, they think of cola cube sweets. Oh yeah. Jelly cubes. Pineapple cubes. Yeah, oh pineapple cubes as well, yeah. <laughs> Do you think cola cubes or pineapple cubes? What was your favourite? Pineapple. Oh, I was cola. Mm. Cola cubes. Oh, yeah, and you'd suck all the sugar off the outside. Oh. But, but uh, sorry, go on. I was thinking of actual pineapple, sorry. <laughs> oh! Do you mean like a pineapple that's been cubed? Yeah. Sorry, Aww. that's what I was thinking of. Oh, bless you. Because they did pineapple cubes as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you like pineapple? Now this is brilliant, okay? 380 carats of uh, lapis lazuli. That's the should be. Phil's got a bit obsessed with my, my producer with going lowest ever on The Late Show. We love him for it. We do. We love him for it. We've just taken 300 carat, 380 carats of lapis lazuli, corner drill to give this fantastic effect. And do you know how difficult it is to corner drill a, a cube design like that and to cut the lapis into that cube angular shape anyway? It's very tricky to hold it whilst you're trying to drill it. Turn off. Isn't that lovely? But I'll tell you what, it looks, it looks nice quite sort of just caressing the base line of the neck, doesn't it? I really like that on the base of the neck. I really like those. Do you play bass guitar, Phil? You do not. I've just learned something about my producer. You play the bass guitar? I did not know that. Did you know that about, did you know that about producer Phil? Plays the bass guitar? Oh, well. That I You did know. not. You play violin in an orchestra. You do look like a violinist. He does. He looks like a violinist. There he is. Give us a wave. Oh, well, I did first violin. First violin. Will you bring your violin in and play us a tune? Wow, it's not fascinating when you find out little little things about people like that that you didn't know. Hey, eh? he's talented, isn't he? You got a hidden talent. Have you got a hidden talent that we don't know about? Do text in on 60777, start your text with JM Studio. Hidden talent? Oh, that could be interesting. What's your hidden talent? Oh, that's a good texting, actually, isn't it? What's your hidden talent that we don't know about? <laughs> oh, I can fold napkins. That's my hidden talent. Oh, I can only fold them like a lily. I can do them as a gondola, Ooh. I can do them as a fan, I can do them as something I can't talk about on air. I can't do a swan, no. Anyway, that's one of my hidden talents. 7 95 Okay, well done everybody. Oh, Tina's had two. I'm your Tina. Tina. Oh, 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 I had an itchy ear then. Oh, don't you think itches are funny? How's an itch just suddenly like, it's funny isn't it? Or is that just me? Now then. Do you play an instrument? Badly. What do you play? Guitar. Oh. You play the drums, I play piano and the flute. Ooh. Yeah. Can do a bit of harmonica and the um, recorder. Do you know what my mum used to say when we did a gig? Because my mum was a piano player and a singer and we'd, we'd do gigs. And people, she'd be playing the piano. They'd, come up and they'd say to my mum, does, does, does your daughter play? Or they'd say to me, do you play an instrument? Oh, no, do you play? That was it. And my mum would go, she plays the face. I was like, thanks, mum. She, she plays the face. What means? What does that even mean? To play your we play, you, when you say you play your face, it means you're pulling faces. Yeah, you're a bit stroppy or you're a bit, you play your face. You, you're playing oh, okay. your face, facial expressions. I get but, it now. Yeah. She plays her face. I was like, thanks. Thanks, mum. Anyway. This is one of the most unusual strands of fluorite that we have. Look at 
that the price point is bewildering. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, we called it green fluorite, but it's actually a, all sorts of arrays of colours and blues and some yellows and some purples in there. Look at the price point as well. When I say bewildering, we ain't kidding, are we? You can buy a pack of four slices of breaded ham for that. Can't you? I don't know where I've just got. Do you know what it is? Because I've just thrown a packet of breaded ham away. It was £3.99. That's why that's just come to mind. In case you're thinking, well, I thought, like, you know, it said, but, you know, use it within two days, and I hadn't. So I thought. But, um, yeah, pack of, pack of ham. Pack of ham. It'd be more than that for a coffee and a mince pie to one of those Absolutely. big stores. Mm. 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 Aren't they lovely? It's a lovely graduation through the colours, isn't it? Though, and that, that's just for me. That's a restrand. Oh, easy. Restrand. Don't have to do anything too hard to that. Restrand. Add one of those magnetic clasps, mm -hmm. and you are done. Are you? Three pound ninety-five. Um, have we got any of the magnetic clasps left, Phil? We did have them. We've got ten left. Ten left of those eight in yellow gold plated, eight in rose gold plated, both of which were, were lovely. They're gorgeous. Which colour would you choose with that strand? Yellow gold plated. I'd go for the yellow gold as well. Yep. Either or, but I do like the gold. I think, yeah, the classic. Yep. Yeah, the classic. Uh, those are 16 magnetic clasps there for you, my lovelies, with those fluorite, and they're only 11.95, and that's for 16 of them. So that actually takes those magnetic clasps, which are fantastic, to 75p each. You just take the magnetic clasp apart, just prise them apart with the... Oh, the gosh, they're very... Uh, in fact, they're very strong magnets. Come here, let me show you again. Oh, hang on, they're nearly... Oh, my goodness! Have you seen those in baskets, Phil? Look, ready? Ding, 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 ding. Whee! You will find yourself doing that as well. <laughs> I, I do. I do warn you now. You will go. Was that just me? Just me. <laughs> I think you're going to want to do that. I am now. Well, yeah. There you go. You can have that for free. Seventy-five p a clasp. That is my lovelies. Listen to this with baskets. Rot in baskets, rather. Rosalind, Hannah, Carol, Janina, Eleanor, Collector, Terry, Ali, Dorothy, L, Karen, Carolyn, Collector. How many got left? Eight left. Oh dear. So we're, we've got about three times as many people with it in the baskets as we have got availability. The last two people have come in from five. Both of you in five. In fact, we've had three people in from five so far this evening that I've no noticed. Perhaps having a jewellery party in five. Found at Margot's. At Margot's. I bet Margot would make, I'd do a brilliant jewellery making party. Is it who? What? I don't get it. Sorry, Leah's mouthing, and I don't get it, so I can't repeat. I don't get it. don't know. Uh, Eddie Road Up. Eddie Road Up. That's a funny phrase as well, isn't it? Eddie Road Up. <laughs> That's a funny one as well. I wouldn't mind. Um, that'd be lovely, actually, if I could do that, Phil. That'd be lovely. Right then. I have a strand, naughtily priced late show strand, of... Uh, they don't look eight mil to me. They're not eight mil, Phil. That, well, I'm willing to bet that's not an eight mil. That's a six mil at best. Sorry, darling, that is not an eight mil round. Can I just check with, that is not an eight mil round. Do you agree with me? I agree, it looks Thank more like you. a six. That's better, we've got the wrong strand, I do apologise. We've obviously got the wrong strand in the studio. That is the strand that you'll get. Eight mil rounds of Kumzite. 200 glorious natural carrots. I do apologise that we've got the wrong size of gemstone in the studio. I do apologise. What's obviously happened is we've had a, a, a four, six, well, a six mil come into the studio. I think it's six mil, six mil, four mil. I'm going to go four mil, actually. Well, I would think a six, six. maybe. It, isn't it hard when you haven't Could got one be here? a five. Mm, yeah. 
Anyway, we're not going to show you because it's the wrong size. Uh, apologies about that. Eighteen ninety-five. Customers just said, when my son was nine, he told the school that he started. <laughs> He started that he was experienced with the recorder, so he got put into orchestra. He meant tape recorder. <laughs> At my primary school, they gave me a triangle once. Oh. Not musically talented. Didn't oh. go well. I couldn't find the triangle. No, I hit it at the wrong time. <laughs> like, now! Now! <laughs> I had one job. <laughs> Mind you, my stepdad's a drummer. Professional drummer, so timing's everything to a drummer. Would he let me play tambourine in my mum's band? Would he, wouldn't let me near one. So now, if I go to a gig and somebody hands me a tambourine, I won't, I won't touch it. Because he's frightened the life out of me that I can't play a tambourine. Of course you can. No, I, I, I will never You've touch got a tambourine. tambourine. You can play yeah, a tambourine. Yeah, I got rhythm. Yeah, but he wouldn't, because he's so particular as a drummer. Aww. What was I allowed? <laughs> and I'd love to play the tambourine. Oh. Um, wouldn't let me. And now I'm scared. Oh. Ooh. Now we had Jasper Hearts earlier, if you were watching, didn't we? Everybody's going, yeah, we did, we did, we did, she's right, we did. Do you fancy some fluorites in a heart as well? Can we? Yeah, we'll do. we can! And look at that for colours. Look, look, look. <gasps> Ooh, I knew Ooh. you'd like that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I knew you'd like that. Goldens. Proper rainbow fluorites. Wow. Proper. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Look at those yellow ones. Gorgeous. They look like amber, don't they? They do. Imagine them with a the Hessonite garnet. Perfect Mundo. Dingity dong. Oh yeah. Ding dong merrily on high. Dee 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 dee. Oh my word. Look at that one there. Can I just show you that one? Can I just give that one a little spinner arm a look? Look at that. It's like a volcano with lava. There's real heat in it, isn't Ooh, it? Oh yeah. It's so yellow, you'd think it was almost citrine. It does have an element of citrine to it. We were talking about citrine with Gemma in the toilets, weren't we? we? Were, do you mean the green room, darling? Toilet. <laughs> it's supposed to be a it's supposed to be a dressing room. <laughs> it's all toilets. It's a toilet. <laughs> Twelve I'll tell you what they'd go nice with actually. Do you want to see it with the Jaspers? If he's like, yeah! Oh definitely. Yeah. Jasper and Fluorite. That would be lovely. Now, these Fluorites, do you think they're natural? Of course they are. Would you, oh, actually, would you like to see them with their tonight, Garnet? That's yeah. a groovy idea. Groovy. Groovy's a good word, isn't it? I like groovy. I like the word groovy. I, don't think, I think you struggle to get away with the word groovy, though. Do you not think? Well, some people do, but I just think, oh, well, I'll say it anyway. It's all good. I'm with you. Now, there you go. Look, I wanted to show you with the volcanic one. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yep. Can we just mention the Magatamas have sold out? Have the Super Duo sold out? <gasps> There's nine left. Nine of the Super Duo bundle earlier left. The Magatamas have now exited the studio. Poof. Poof. Did that make you giggle, didn't it? It really did. I like the set here. Poof. <laughs> Most of the the genie and Aladdin. Poof. Oh, I love that. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, is it Major Nelson, Larry Hagman? Larry Hagman? Yeah. In JR? I Dream of Jeannie. That's who I was thinking of. You must know the show, I Dream of Jeannie. No? Larry Hagman played Major Nelson. It is really quite an old show, like late 50s, early 60s, something like that. J.R. Ewing, Larry yeah. Hagman. I'm sure, I'm sure it was... Tell, tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure it was Larry Hagman. Never heard of it. I'll have a look now, though. I, oh, oh, and do you know the lady... Oh, I can't remember who it was now. We'll look it up later on a search okay. engine. It's All amazing. Right. Okay. It's really good. Okay. <laughs> remember no oh, idea oh my word i did not mention that excuse them what i did not see 6.95 i'm glad samantha's like hey eh? yeah that's pretty much what i thought samantha um 6.95 are you thinking of the price or larry hagman show genie person thing six and oh do you want to see it with the flu rights here we go here we go there you go with the flu right nuggets as well because they were only 3.95 weren't they so you could get the 3.95 uh nuggets of the flu right and your hearts 
That's lovely. That is brilliant. That's what, £10.95 each? And you wouldn't have to work very hard. You wouldn't, would you? I Dream of Jeannie is awesome and Bewitch. Oh, I remember yeah. Bewitch with the same Ooh. actress, I believe, who played What was Samantha? her name for? What was her name? Oh, I can't think what of What was her I'm name? So sorry. She was incredibly glamorous, oh, beautiful what lady. Name? What was her name? Nikki said, yes, it was Larry Hagman. Love that show. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Look. If you grew up in the 80s, it was a thing that was I on grew up in one the of 80s, the three channels that was on telly. <laughs> yeah, <the> three channels. <laughs> yeah. I dream of Jeannie with the light brown hair. That, that was the theme. I'm sure it was that. And yes, oh, I think well, it was go. Elizabeth Montgomery. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking of the Nicole Kidman version, no. Elizabeth Montgomery, I didn't... Oh. Well, there you go. Anyway, um, who have we got now? Sorry. Janet, Bill Daly, Larry Hagman and Barbara Eden. Barbara Eden, that was Never it. Never heard of any of oh those people. Oh my gosh, so glamorous, so glamorous. I got her mixed up with Elizabeth Montgomery, sorry. I was growing up in the 80s and I still don't know who that was. No, no. Anyway, thank you, Janet, in Buckinghamshire. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. I, I tell you what, aren't they slightly helpful? They are. You've only got to not remember something, poof, they're in. Well, it's because I doubt myself when I say things, and I, I, I bring you a fact, and then I think, is that a fact, or did I just make it up? Yeah, I'll do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. Uh, right, what should we do next, darling? Oh, hello. Hello, ding dong. Would you like one of the big three, big three of the big five precious gemstones on the planet, all gorgeous, and all natural? Ooh! Oh, that's juicy. That is juicy. Oh, they, do you know what they are? They're Moorish. They do look like a little tube of jelly sweets with sugar Don't on they? the outside. They're just great price point as well. They've only been on once before. They are, guaranteed, they are definitely natural. The ruby is natural. No fish are filling there. No, no heat treatment. No additional ad artificial colour, no, no, no. Genuine natural ruby, genuine natural sapphire, even those bright yellows, and genuine natural emerald in that strand. That is just delicious. If you're just getting into jewellery making, what a way to achieve some very, very wonderful gemstones. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You going to take off what? That didn't sound right, did it? For anybody not understanding what I've just heard in my ear, he's taking off <laughs> ten pounds. That. I mean, you go online and try and send a bottle, a bottle of something online, or 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 or. or, or a, an entry level bouquet of flowers. I, I, I took my dad for my dad for an Italian meal last night and the wine was nearly double that. There was there was one for 1995, but I thought we'll have a little celebratory treat and we went for a nice bottle of wine. But you know, the wine was 29.95. There was wine for night, but there was no wine cheaper than 17.95 in that restaurant. No. For a bottle? For a bottle of wine in a restaurant. And yet there is a lifetime, and not just a lifetime, not just your lifetime, an heirloom piece, an, a legacy piece that you could, can you imagine? You know when you have a, there's normally a piece of jewellery, isn't there, in the family that everybody talks about? You know, like, like Meghan Markle's going to have, in, in her engagement ring, she's got diamonds from Princess Diana's collection. Oh, how lovely. So how adorable, how mm. beautiful, and Kate Middleton's obviously got Princess Diana's like, engagement ring. These are what we call an heirloom piece. These are rubies, these are sapphires, these are emeralds. Can you imagine the talk of the family? Or, you know, that beautiful ruby emerald sapphire necklace or bracelet that is the talk of the family. You could create that family heirloom piece out of a strand like that. You absolutely could. Or, or make little idea. trilogy rings as well. Oh, and then everybody idea. in your family has a part of that strand. That is a great... What a great idea. That is a trilogy sort of ring. Bring everybody together. Love it. Love it. What a lovely idea. Um, good luck. They are limited. Three birthstones as well. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Beautiful. What a great deal. For 
1595. Just incredible. Sorry, that's, that's genuinely, genuinely. Right then, everybody's been messaging my producer. Because not only do we have a star bike coming up after the break of London Blue Topaz. Oh my word, that faceting. And the reason I'm genuinely shocked is we have only gone and bought those to you on that strand in the most glorious marquees, highly sought after marquee shape in London Blue Topaz. We were going to do those at 10 to 10. We can't wait. We're going under 100 after the break. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. Did you know that if you go to JewelryMaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. 
make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. We commissioned 52 only on this strand. 52. That's all we made. Wow. Ever. That's precious, isn't it? Yeah. We have half the availability for you this evening on The Late Show. And it is an incredible strand. I mean, the reason that high-end gemstones don't often get cut into marquee shapes is because when you are cutting a gemstone a marquee is probably the most wasteful cut shape out of the gemstone hence why if you've got a high-end gemstone and a very sought-after gemstone as London blue topaz chances are people wouldn't dare go for a wasteful cut because it doesn't make sense doesn't make good it business doesn't. sense does it no nope. but the reason that we do this occasionally is because it's such a sought-after shape as well. So the thing is, if people are desperate for something and desperate for that very um, voluptuous, very stylized, very, very sexy shape, I think you, I think we can describe. It is absolutely very sexy, sensual. It is. I was going to say the word sensual actually. Samantha says perfect ice blue Christmas earrings. Oh, how Absolutely. lovely! Absolutely. What I must draw your attention to, I know we're talking about the fact that it's brilliant and it's London blue and all the bit, but can you just, if we go back to that recording a second, focus on the unbelievable quality of sensational, unique faceting on each one of those. They are knockout. No two ways about it. They absolutely are. I see the, the shards of light coming through, showing those colours. Absolutely glorious. You just you just find yourself just trying to take each one of those in in its entirety. And you can see why it's yeah. cut in this fashion for this quality of gemstone. You can't take your eyes off them, can you? It, it is mesmerizing. Do you know what? So that's just said those London blue topaz are gorgeous, seen and I totally agree with you, this is it. She says she's got a few strands of this gem and, and I just look and I've never used them. I, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, this is it. I've got it, three strands, I think, now of uh, London Blue. I've got one in, in, um, in Marquise. I, I haven't done anything with them. Nothing. It, yeah. Can I just say to Helen and Chris, I'm guessing it's Helen and Chris, is it Helen and Chris in Norfolk? Yeah. Helen and Chris in Norfolk, you've um, treated yourself at 113.95. Do you know what? We promised you under 100, didn't we? We, I am not comfortable using the words lowest ever price, but they are. £42 saving, Helen and Chris, first ones to check out. Taking those to £71.95, the last 25 chances. Alison Tarry has just come in. I had a sneaky feeling if Tarry Meister were watching, she might get this. Hello, Alison Tarry. Mwah, gorgeous lady. Alison has exquisite taste. She does have exquisite and she taste. she knows her gems as well. Have you met her husband, John? Yes, I've met her she husband, John. She has very John. exquisite taste. And I've met all of her dogs as well. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, I've yet to meet the pooches. Mind <laughs> you, Leah has as well. Now, these are last month's birthstone, November's, but well, yesterday. Um, Anne has just said, good evening, all. Hey. My birthday, mine, mine, mine. Um, yeah, happy birthday for last month, Anne. Congratulations. Um, yes, baby. She's like, mine, my... I'll tell mm -hmm. you what, though. It isn't a strand you tend to give away, is it? I don't think I would be comfortable giving that away. <laughs> that is beautiful. Would you dare, even if you were thinking... Of, I'll tell you what you could be. You could be savvy. Buy a couple if you could. Sell one individually as pendants or earrings. Make the profit. 
Yeah. Then the money that you make as the profit could treat yourself to a free strand technically, if you know what I mean. Do you work oh, it out like I, that? I always do. And I do. What I tend to do is take a couple of the stones from a strand like this, if I can bear to cut it. <laughs> yeah. And I make back what I paid for the whole strand. And then the remainder of the strand, which is often about 80% of what's left, is, is mine. And I will make something for me. And it's okay. quite decadent. It's a lovely feeling. It really, really is. You know the natural pearls that were 3 by 5 mil? Yes, I do. The, the meter? Yes, the lavender. The lavender. They were described as lavender. I couldn't remember. I think they would be a truly sumptuous combination. That would be lovely, actually. Nice combination. You're quite right. Can I just read a couple of prices to you? Mm. Well, four, actually. I had a look earlier. I found a London blue topaz pendant. In sterling, these are all sterling silver prices, pendant, £320. A ring, £295. A pendant, £160. A ring, £199. London blue is synonymous with people expecting a high ticket price. It's elegant. Mm-hmm. And it's regarded as elegant, isn't it? And like we said, sensual. Mm. It's the most decadent tone. You've still got that clarity, that cleanness about them. You've got the most gorgeous luster coming off the surface. You've got that incredible brilliance because it's topaz. You've got the most beautiful 85% saturation. Um, and certainly in the jewellery business, London Blue has become one of the best-selling gemstones, without question. It's glorious. If you imagine a penthouse apartment on the Thames, yep. a, a, a very high-caliber event, there's champagne flowing freely, yeah. and there's the A-listers, oh, yeah. and, and there's chat about movies going paparazzo on. on. The, the paparazzo bit, yeah. are outside the door. Somebody will be. That is where I see this gemstone. Yeah, absolutely. And it always takes me to the Thames, to London. It's incredible. I mean, you, you can just see the quality there. You can see the... They just scream expensive, don't they? And yet, look what we've done. Seventy-one ninety-five. Never before have we gone to 71.95. Never. They're glorious. Incredible. Well done. <laughs> well done. All right, I'd love to chat about those a bit longer, but it's kit time, isn't it, young lady? <laughs> Can I show you? Microfaceted pyrite. These are Christmas, 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 Christmas. So, so much. Christmas, festive, gorgeous, knockout strand. A 98 centimetre strand of fabulous golden coated pyrite, microfacety, one by one to three by two mil, 70 carats in total. Just, I mean, just a single strand with your black spinel. God, that would be lovely. Yeah. So, single strand bracelet. You know when we do the microfaceted black spinel bracelets, mm. all garnet for Christmas? Oh, it would be oh. lovely with garnet. <gasps> microfaceted green onyx, black onyx. Sorry, go on. Russian dioxide. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Russian chrome dioxide. Yeah. They look great. I mean, just imagine stacker bracelet, stacker bracelet, stacker bracelet. They would look gorgeous. They really would. So bright, aren't they? So sparkly. They're lovely. So 98 centimetre in those. Never seen those like that. Love them. Love Don't them. I think love I have. Them. No, I haven't. <laughs> um, we've also... Now... I don't recognise this colour either. Is that what they're called? Light topaz? Oh, do you? They are light topaz. Hey, what a gr This is so bright. Star of Wonder. What a great name as well. <laughs> uh, you've also got some lovely Mayuki Duracoat galvanised yellow gold seed beads as well. So I'll just put those next to those Swarovskis. They're lovely. What a lovely gold, sumptuous, beautiful kit this is. So we've also got some beautiful gold-coloured silver-plated wire. We've got um, 100 metres of 0.25 mil, making Gem very happy. 50 metres of 0.6 and 4 metres of 1 mil. So I don't know about my reckoning, but I'll make that 154 metres of wire. Plus your lovely light topaz Swarovski. Plus your lovely Mayuki Duracoat galvanised in size 8 on the seed beads and that knockout strand of the gold colour coated pyrite. This is brilliant. 65, sorry, 164 metres of wire in one kit. It's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely you amazing. You were happy then. Yeah, seriously. Mm, I thought you might be. 
I mean, that pyrite is just gorgeous. I didn't say pirate. I know you got a pirate jumper on, Mike. I didn't. I said pyrite. Pyrite. <laughs> Miss Lou. Do you know how much the, 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 the pyrite should be half that price at 14 95 so that means if we if we asked you for the to to, to to part with the full price for the pyrite, you would be getting 154 meters of wire, and a tube of Mikey seed beads, and a parcel of 48 four mil beautiful light topaz AB Swarovski for 14.95. That doesn't seem to compute, does it? It's brilliant, isn't it? It's fantastic. We don't want it to compute, <laughs> isn't it? Well, JM is one of those rare areas where you think oh, I don't, it doesn't need to make sense. No. The less sense it makes, the better. Oh, most definitely. And very, yeah. very generous on the wire. Yeah. But almost a metre. Yeah. That's yeah. So, so many gems. Can we have a look at your gorgeous jewellery, young lady, please? You certainly can. It's just there. <laughs> wow. Oh, my. Oh, I love the big... Um... I love that one there. Oh, yes. That is lovely. Oh, I like that. Good. Really <laughs> like that. Re sorry. Really. Sorry. I just. Um, I really like that. Thanks, hon. I really like that. Oh, oh and you. I really like that one as well. Your ace. I don't know about that, but. You are. <laughs> Tell you what, those um, you could class those little gold colour coated pyrites as, as as gemstone seed beads, really, couldn't you? Well, that's how I thought of them. Yes, yeah. they're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> now, out of your gorgeous jewellery, young lady, what are you thinking of demonstrating? Well, I was asked to do the Star of Bethlehem, which is the piece nearest to me, the big one with the, the circle round okay. it. That, that you okay, like. for our nativity. <laughs> for the nativity day. Yes, nativity. Uh, right then, Donald, should we hand over to you? Wonderful. OK, well, I wouldn't necessarily create this as a piece of jewellery so much as decor, so you could put it on the tree or you could put it up on the wall or okay. just as a, an objet, as one window. prefers. That'd be nice, as you in prefer. the window. Okay. Can I just check how long has Gem got, darling? About 15, is that OK? Lovely, Brilliant wonderful. Doll. Fantastic. OK. So I have prepared some of the one millimetre wire into a series of V's. So can I borrow your ruler yes, you again, please? Yes, you can borrow my ruler, lovely face. Have you noticed those there, by the way? Yes, oh, and last time I was on, it was two inches to the right. Oh, we've moved it. <laughs> OK, so I'm just going to give that a bit of a measuring. OK, so we would be looking for eight sections, each measuring four inches. OK. And then they would be put into a 45 degree angle, like so. But we're looking to have eight of them to make that shape. So if I just lay that out real quickly, you'll see what we're going to look at. I'm not going to recreate the whole thing. We're just going to look at the techniques at the moment. So that's why we have the eight. And the 45 degree angle is, is really quite easy to make because either they'll all fit together or they won't. You can see this one is too wide. So we would just give him a little bit of a, a squeeze and make it all fit together. Okay. So you can see that there are two definitive halves. Yeah. And each of those would be made with the four V shapes. Okay. Again, this is the one millimetre wire, four inches overall each piece, and bent in the middle to 45 degrees. Okay. So there are two ways that you can bring these pieces together. And it is all using the same basic technique. Now, what I've done is I've taken a great number of the microfaceted pyrites and I have threaded them into my little bag yep. onto the 0.25mm gauge. Ooh, so you can see they're all sitting there Waiting ready to go. To go. Mm. Okay, wonderful. So put that over to one side and just seal up most of the part of the bag, leaving a little bit of an access point. Okay. And there, as I say, there are two ways that you can bring all these together, and it's really down to your personal preference. So what I will do is I'll grab the star from the bust, if I may. And, well, it's, it's very sparkly. Really sparkly. <laughs> I'll just move these out of the way. I just wanted to show you how it would all come together in the end. Um, but we're just going to work with 
two to begin with. Okay. So in this piece, the gemstones have been threaded over the top of the two sections of wire and then the wire has been wound around the back. Okay. Now if I can just flip this over, I hate to move it while you're there, but you can see on the back you've got the wire going across behind. Now I will show you exactly how that's all going to work, but this gives you a very definitive side. Okay. So if you work with it in this fashion, you'll have a front and a back. Mm -hmm. I will show you a second technique of bringing those Vs together, which means it will be okay. universal. Right. Now, I actually think it looks quite nice with seeing the woven side. Yeah. However, you lose the sparkle of those little micro yeah. facets. So I'm going to pop that back on the bust for now. Okay. Great. And we'll just bring a couple of those Vs together. Brilliant. Like I said, I'm not going to do the whole thing, okay. but we will talk through how it's all going to work. Right. So the way I began is to make two definitive halves, and that would be bringing four V sections together. So the first thing to do is to pop a little bit of curvature inside the V on each of your sections. So we're looking at our Vs like so, and we're going to bring a little bit of a curve just on the inside. And that gives us something to hold on to so that our wire doesn't slip off the end when we're weaving everything together. Now you can tighten that up later on as I have done in the design on the bust or you can leave it more open because as I say I wouldn't necessarily treat this as a piece of worn jewellery. Yeah. If you were going to wear it you wouldn't want those end pieces because they catch. I've actually just stabbed a little tiny hole in my finger so just Are to demonstrate, right? yeah, absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> if you were going to use this in a jewellery design, you would need to either use one of the burr cups and just spin around oh, on, yeah, the end, on the end, yeah. and that takes the sharpness away, or you can pleat that into uh, a coil, as yeah. we did in the first demo. Okay. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing on my second V. Don't and do the bit with your finger, though. No, I won't necessarily okay. demonstrate okay. again how Thank stupid you. it is to catch your finger on the sharp, pointy bit. Even with the best one in the world, when you're using your flush cutters, you will end up with little bits of wire that are a little bit sharp. And if you're wearing it open, again, use your burr cup or some um, of the sanding pads to just take that element away. So what we're looking to do now is to use some flat facing pliers just to make sure that we've got reasonably straight lines on either side of the V. It does also help if they're symmetrical. However, we can obviously tweak that a little bit and trim any excess if we need to. If you're concerned about getting it symmetrical, just use a ruler when you're creating that initial V bend in the bottom. I didn't, I just guessed. So, we're going to start at the inside of one of our Vs with the tail of the 0.25 wire, having pre-threaded many, many, many of those little stones onto the strand. So I've got a little bit of a tail underneath. I'm just going to hold on to that and then wind at least six or seven times around the end. And what this does is means that we get a nice secure fixing. Now don't worry overly much about where you wind that on because we're going to trim the end away. Okay, yeah. Lovely, now you can see as I twinkle that up and down, there is a sticky uppy end. So to get that to go away, we would need to go in quite close with some flat pliers, pliers even. Flat pliers seems to be the bane of my life. I can't say it. You just did it. I did, didn't I? <laughs> no such word as can't, my mum says. There you go. So we just smooth that away and that's smooth and it doesn't really sort of catch on anything. So we've got our coil right down close to the center of that V and then we're going to find one of the gemstones from inside the bag and slide that along. I'm going to bring a couple just to make it easier. Now as you start this design it's fiddly and it wants to undo itself but don't worry because as you go further through it it fixes itself together. So my fine wire is underneath, got a gemstone in position so I then want to have the inside of another V and you can see already how this is going to work. Yeah. So I'm just going to pinch that together to begin with, take the tail through those two uprights and wrap around a specific number of times. Now I'm going to go for four times. You could indeed make a moth if you wanted to. 
it would look very pretty. So at the moment, my gemstone is sitting underneath the design as it faces up to us. So I'm going to add a, a plain section of wire over the top and I'm going to wrap an equal four times, three and four. Give that a bit of a squeeze, you can do that with pliers or your nails. We're going to flip the design over now so you can see how the gemstone sits on top. There we go. If I get my hand out of the way slightly, you'll see that there's a strand of bare wire one side and yep. a gemstone laden strand on the other side. And all you would do is you would jam pack that little avenue up between, okay. repeating the exact same technique. So here's a second one. Drop the gemstone into position, push that down in between the two one millimeter wires, and then wrap around again four times. So in doing that, you've got gemstone one side, bare wire the other. You don't have to flip it over, you can continue to do that in a straight line. It's much easier if you do, but I'm just trying to show you how it builds up and also how that looks. So you can see bare wire that side and gemstone on that side. And you would just continue all the way along and as it builds up, as you get towards the end, you will see that it all comes together really neatly and mm. any of those bends in the little wires, yeah. they cease to exist because yeah. you're tying them in. Yeah. Okay, Lovely. so I'm just going to trim that off there. You would complete all the way along. And I'll show you an alternative technique, which means that you don't have a side, an up or a down or a front or a back. Okay. So we're going to start, actually, if I just put that to one side, it'd be much easier for me to show you with two new Vs. Okay. So the same technique to begin with, we're going to pop a little curve going inwards. Not going to be overly fussy about it because you can tidy that up at home when you have time. So there's one. And we're going to add on exactly the same as we did before. Mm -hmm. At least six times. When you're working with the finer gauge wire, because we're working with 0.25, we want to be sure that we've got a good grip. Yeah. So we're just going to trim the excess off. You would take more time. So what we're going to do on this version, yeah. as an alternative, is do a figure of eight alternating weave. Okay. So my fine wire is currently sat underneath that one millimeter gauge. So I'm going to draw in the second V shape and my fine wire comes from underneath one side to over the top of the other wire. Underneath here, over the top here. So I'm just going to lay that flat so I can grip it firmly. And then we're going to draw that in close and spin around four times. Whoops. And now you can see that my fine wire is underneath. So instead of having a bare section of wire, I'm going to draw in another gemstone, pulling my fine wire up between the two, so I'm coming underneath this side, over the top this side, and then wrap around four times and continue along exactly the same as you are doing in those first two moves. It, it really does come together. It's tricky to hold it when you start off. Yeah. And there we go. So that's a little bit loose. I haven't pulled that as tight as I needed to. So all you would do is go backwards and forwards, yeah. and on this there's no sections of bare wire. It's alternating one way to the other way. It's lovely. It's really pretty, it's and because you see a slightly different angle on the gemstones, it really sparkles. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So that's an alternative. Right. And then when you want to draw the two halves together, I will just chat through. If I can Brilliant. steal that and bring that of course, over here. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much. All I've done up the central section, so I've created a half all woven together. So there's four pieces on this side, four Vs on this side. And then I've added two upright layers of around about six to seven inches of the one mil wire. Mm -hmm. And I've worked in exactly the same technique, but instead of wrapping around one side of the V, I've wrapped around one side of the V and one of the uprights. And in that way, if I flip the design over, there we go, you can see, if you come close into the top, you can see what I've, I've made a little bale up here, and then those uprights go down in between, and it's exactly the same as when we were tying the two V sections together, but we've got an extra upright wire. Okay. 
So that all comes together. Does that make sense to you? Because if it doesn't, I'll slip a piece of wire and show you very, very quickly how that will work. If you can do it really quick, I think we'd appreciate it. Yep, absolutely. We've, we've got a minute or so, so we'd, if, if you can, because I, I just think I'm a visual person. Yep, absolutely. I now, think I've got it. I have run out of one millimetre wire, so I'm going to have to do this with the point six, okay, that's which fine. means it's a bit wibbly. Okay. So you will get the idea, but this will come out of formation slightly. Okay. So if you imagine that this is the top section of one side that we've created, uh, trim, and this is the top section of the other side that we've created, what we would do is put our two uprights again about six or seven inches in one mill, not this, the, the wibbly wabbly stuff. You lay them in between, wrap four or five times around this both of those uprights on the left introduce a gemstone in the middle in exactly the same way so laid over the top yep. wrap four times around the right hand pair so both the upright and the v go underneath to give the bare wire in exactly the same as we looked at right yep. at the beginning of yep. the demo and then repeat all the way down until you get to the center trim off your wire start again all the way down to the bottom now i kept a little bit if I can scooch that out of the way, I kept a little bit spare at the bottom to make an elongated tail, yep. so it was a bit more starry. And then around here, simply added a, a layer of uh, a circuit of wire yeah. and enhanced with a Swarovski at Beautiful. each point. So that's a, a relatively easy winding on technique in much the same way in the 7 o'clock demo when we were adding a gemstone to the side... Oh, a, a, bead in that instance to the side of the wire rather than the front or on the wire itself so it's exactly the same technique i hope that all makes sense yes thank you she's winking at me i am i think she, it's she's a signal lovely. to say shh no talking. well winking at you because i think it's the most fantastic design and it's beautiful and oh, sparkly and gorgeous you. that's oh, just like you then isn't it behave <laughs> beryl says hi Zena and gem oh, i'm not normally up this late she says amazing designs gem loving you are you up so late then thank you mm. for being with us beautiful yeah thanks for stopping up Alison, oh, MG just turned on those London Blue are spectacular. Couldn't resist. Thanks, guys. Perfect end to a perfect day. Hey. Do you mean these, young lady? Do you mean these? We saw you got them, Alison. We saw you got them. They are delightful. They are spectacular. Well done, Alison. Now, Alison Terry, guest designer, seed bead extraordinaire, you and your mum. Um, we had some Magatamas like early and they sold out, obviously, because we went to the most ridiculous price point. We've also got Super Duos, but we've got nine chances left. So, Alison Tarrod, I don't know if you fancy them, you or your mum. Hang on a second, I'm just going to mosey on back over to my, to my little side. We well, just found some cocktail sausages. <laughs> That's random. I just found some. Do you know? Whole box of cocktail sausages on the receipt. There you go. Nice. I'll be Lucy. I'll be Lucy. Oh bless her. Now, um, uh, as I say, we have got these last nine chances on the super duos. We have got three tubes of Super Duos for $4.99 a piece. We have got the gold shine in the centre in Super Duos, so the two holes in your beautiful Super Duos, two and a half by five mil. They are your gold shine in the aqua beads. And then we've also got in this blue here, the halo celestial blue beads. Love, love, love. Four left. The magic blue pink beads, I do apologise, there are now only three left, sorry. So Fiona, Vanessa, Sandra, Chloe, collector with the baskets, Susan, collector, Stella, Rosalind, Danila, uh, Marianne, I've got people on the telephone, Wendy's just got them in Wiltshire, Tony's just got them in Primrose Gems as well, Aloma's just come in, Sharon and Essex has just come in as well. We are at 4 99 it is official on Super Duos. We have got, is it three left? Three left. Two left, sorry, I do apologise. Two chances remaining. Four ninety nine a tube, fantastic colours. Well done, you lovely lot. Well done. Glenda she's got them as well. Um, congratulations. We we had a feeling that that price point and those colourways that they would sell out. And uh, good for you. Good for you. 
Skype in. Could you? Sorry, darling. <laughs> They're out of reach again. Sorry, love. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, okay. You've got a right treat here then. I tell you what, it'd be great to have some silver plated things today. Oh, lovely. I've really missed silver plated. I do love a bit of silver plated. Oh, I tell you what, brilliant value for money. These are. Firstly, the price. Oh, Jem's, Jem's got a red in her hands. I'm not surprised. A hundred pack for £1.95. That's crazy beans. That's less than 2p each. They're such lovely quality as well. Well, I was just going to say, we all know you can make your own eye pin. You can. Yes. You can, you can make your own eye pin. But would you really, when you can get them all absolutely symmetrical, all the, uh, all the eyes of the pins are identical, look. Every single one, just to prove the point. All the same length. Now, think how long it would take you to just measure the 40 mil plus leaving the extra for the actual eye pin. And you would need to shave that end, wouldn't you, to, to make, make them it non pointy? Oh, sorry, to, not non pointy. Mm. I do apologise. Sorry, I was thinking about putting them through something. But yeah, so you'd have to burr the ends as well, wouldn't you? Yep. So let's think this through. You'd have to measure the. You'd have to buy the wire. You'd have to measure. Yep. You'd have to burr the end to stop them being sharp. Yep. You'd, ha you'd have to make sure you get exactly the same loop at the end. Now, if you've ever made your own eye pins, you will know that that's a drama. <laughs> well, it certainly is where, where I live, with my hands and my <laughs> trying to do an eye pin. Um, a hundred of them for £1.95. Who would bother? I know what Alison Terry would say. She'd say, buy them. Wouldn't she? Um, Alison Terry would say, why would you possibly do that yourself when you could buy them for £1.95? So, your alternatives out in the marketplace, I've bought eye pins and head pins back before I found Jewellery Maker. Yep. And what you'll notice about these is they're beautifully straight and regular, as you say. Yep. So, you can purchase inexpensive eye pins, but they tend to be a little bit on the kinky side, a little bit on the wonky side. And they're flimsy. Yeah, one eye's like this and one eye's like that. They're not great. A bit cross-eyed. A bit cross-eyed. So, if you want a cross-eyed <laughs> eye pins, go elsewhere. <laughs> £1.95. Now, you're loving these, obviously. Hello, Hertrude. Hello, Hertrude. Brilliant deal. Now, we're, get, we're going to actually move across now and go from silver plated to... Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. No, we'll stay silver plated. We'll move to sterling silver in a moment. But I've got some crimp bead covers, haven't I? Or, crimp, or, 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 or beads, because they can be a crimp, crimp bead or a cover. Do you want to just chuck them all on this desk so I can reach them, save you coming over? Because I do feel awful. <laughs> Sorry, sweet. I just can't reach them. Thank you, gorgeous face. Thank you. Thank you. You need to have, like, octopus arms, don't you, Leah? <laughs> or I do, actually. I need the octopus arms, and then I could go whoop. Now then, silver plated, crimp, crimp covers, the idea behind them is that they do cover a crimp tube. That's what they were, that's what they were made for. Yes, hiding your mechanics. Hiding the mechanics of ending your bracelet necklace with your crimp and securing where your clasp goes. But, as jewellery makers, we look at things like this and think, how else can we use them? <laughs> It's just like an inbuilt rule, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Can't if you can ourselves. make a toggle clasp into a pair of earrings and cufflinks, then yeah. that's what we do. Yeah. Because the thing is, why, <laughs> especially if you, the thing I just think, if you can, if you're making something yourself, you haven't got to stick to what you're supposed to do. That's the joy of making your own jewellery, isn't it? So if you wanted to just close those together with a pair of crimping pliers or a pair of flat nose pliers or chainers and, and press them together, you could just make a beautiful, beautiful spacer bead. You can. My favourite thing about these is when you've made a beaded necklace yeah. and you've got your tension wrong and you've got a bit of gapping. Oh, okay. So you've got your beads all set Good up point. and, and yeah. maybe there's, it's just a little bit loose and yeah. you've got some beading thread material showing through. You can add these in after you've completed your design and that's it looks a, like you meant them to be that's there. That's a great idea. So you always have these on hand. They're just really useful. <laughs> that's a top tip. <laughs> That's a top tip from Gem Hawks. That's what that is there. Again, brilliant price tag. £2.45 for 100 For 100 
and they're all silver plated. Now Carrie, is it Carrie? Oh yeah, Carrie, that's unusual, isn't it? Hi all, fab show and brill demos, that's for you, Jim. Oh, thanks, hon. Best thing about JM plating is that it doesn't come off when manipulating and others do. It's very true. It's very true. It's brilliant when you put those bends and, and maybe you're making a pair of earrings with the eye pins and perhaps you misjudged it slightly. You can just give that a bit of a tweak. Inferior plating will just flake away and you'll be left you with a that, nickel you? mess. I thought you don't want that. No, you don't. You definitely don't want that. That's but why you pay for plating because it's a bit thicker than flush and you want it to last. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, didn't know. See, now I've only bought from jewellery makers, so I don't know this. I don't know this, you see. I have to rely on Jem telling me buying from elsewhere because I, I, I've only bought from jewellery makers. I've been spoiled, haven't I? You have. Been spoiled, you see. <laughs> been spoiled. Start as you mean to go on. Well, that's exactly. Um, I'll tell you what, how do you fancy now? Because we've bought you some lovely silver plated, but do you fancy some sterling silver? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right then. So you can tell the difference straight away with sterling silver. You can. I've got some jump rings. Six mil jump rings, so lovely size, very usable size, very useful size. Beautifully made, beautifully flush, that means they're going to close perfectly. Excuse me, I haven't been funny, lovely. That's a silver plated price, <laughs> isn't it? Is that, is that fair to say, Gem? That's a silver plated price. When you're looking at the regularity of them and the cut and how beautifully, perfectly formed they are, yes, you can in certain places pay that amount for silver plated. But to have that in solid sterling silver, that really opens up a world of options to you. I'd, I'd harvest those. <laughs> Would not. Two. I mean, you could buy three, still be less than a tenner, and have 30 sterling silver job rings there multi-buy to your heart's content. £2.45. I can't, I can't get my hat off on that one. <laughs> I, I just... Uh, it's cracking, is what it is. Been rendered speechless, that's quite something in itself, isn't it? Some others and I bought those from elsewhere and found that I've had to reform all of them. Oh, and by that time you think, why did I bother? Oh, that, that must yeah. be so frustrating. It must be awful. So, I yes. Can't imagine that. That'd really, brilliant to that have the really annoy me, actually. Oh, that annoyed. Would. Yeah, definitely. Because you buy something, you want it to be fit for purpose, don't you? That's the whole point. Most definitely. It needs to be fit for purpose. Yeah. I've, ne I've not. Yeah. Oh, actually, I've better behave myself. <laughs> I was going to say something really naughty there. <laughs> Tisk. Oh, I was just going to say, I haven't, I haven't found a man that's fit for purpose yet, but I think I've just chosen badly. <laughs> I think I've just chosen badly, to be fair. I don't even know how many have I got wrong. I'm not going to tell you that, you cheeky monkey. Are you trying to see if it's them or me? It's probably a mixture of both, to be fair. <laughs> You're supposed to be on my side. You're my colleague. Can you see what I'm having to put up with here, Gem? Tell you what, it's a good job. Well, I feel a bit teary. Good. Well, thank you. I don't mean good you, that you feel teary. <laughs> I mean, thank you for being lovely. Yeah. Thank you. I don't mean good, you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> right. What should we treat everybody? What do you fancy now? Ooh, oh, hang on. Hang on. If you just got the kit with that... Gold colour coated pyrite, I've got something perfect to go with it. Uh, have you ever stopped? I've only got 17 of these. These are golden coated black spinel. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I can't do that and that. Sorry, I do apologise. Sorry, Gemma's just trying to, and I needed both hands, sorry. Golden colour coated black spinel in those micro faceted, gorgeous gems. 98 centimetre strand again. Okay. I'll show you them with 
the golden colour coated pyrite. You ready? <laughs> Ooh, this is going to look so good. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, my word. Partay. Look at them together. They're just destined to be together, aren't they? Oh, definitely. Both microfaceted. Golden colour coated pyrite in the kit and your, co your golden coated black spin up. That's just perfect. Perfect. And again, just do just do stacker bracelets. Look at that. Woo! And we're going nowhere near that on the uh, golden colour coated golden coated black spinel. We're gonna take them way, way down. $12.95? Oh, just not many left, is it? Sorry. Oh, what a shame. 16 left. Now, I have worked with that strand and it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. What did you do with it, Gorge? So many things. It was as part of a, a kit, I believe. Uh, if it's not that exact strand, it's something very, very, very similar. similar. Yeah. And it's absolutely stunning. Really beautiful. Is it? So much fun. <laughs> See, she liked it. And you just saved yourself £7 on the strand. 98 centimetre strand. Oh, let me just put it down on the desk so you can see the sparkle. There you go. Look at that. And you can look, really see that beautiful gold dripping across those black spinel, can't you? It's almost like a rainbow gold. It really is yeah, it so is. giving. Yeah. It's got just an immense strand. I just love it. I love it with the, um, with the golden colour coated pyrite. Can you imagine that added in with the uh, Hessenite Garnet 98 centimetre strand as well? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, they look gorgeous, wouldn't it? They're oh, lovely. Um, you would like me to do what, sorry? Oh, oh, these... I did borrow this for the Christmas party last year. These, I think we've got 19. It's the very, very last few chances. Such a dressy necklace. Can be casual, can be dressy. Oh, nine. I do apologise. I thought we had 19. We've got nine. This is it. You've got the popcorn chain, 18 inches, and you've got that beautiful eight milner. This is, this is just sensational. It really is lovely. Um, I've worn this. I'll, I'll be honest. I've worn this to death, it feels like. I just... It's my, it's my trusted go-to... Whether I'm whether literally whether I'm going to the cinema, whether I'm going to meet a friend for coffee in the morning and cake, whether I'm going to uh, to a party. Where I'm, in fact, I'm going to a party tomorrow night, and I have bought, I've packed it with me to go to this um, 50th birthday party tomorrow night. The thing is about a piece like this is it's exquisitely elegant, but at the same time could be understated. Yeah, exactly. So you've got all that sparkle from the yeah. stardust, but you've got the smooth, smooth lines yeah. of the popcorn. It's and beautiful. And that's the, it's so wearable. It really, really is wearable. It's absolutely lovely. Comes all ready made with the lobster claw in your popcorn design. I mean, it just looks good. What a lovely price for a gift as well. Do you know what? I was so taken with the piece. I hadn't even seen the price. That's amazing. 15 95 That's lovely. It's really, honestly, it's, you will love this. Uh, lovely as a gift, lovely for yourself. Uh, just a message coming in from Samantha. She says, what she say? With a little black dress. I'm glad you did explain. I would never have known in a month of Sundays what that meant. <laughs> little black dress, we're guessing that means. It would be perfect. It would. Oh, the thing is, but the lovely thing, any colour dress. That's, that's, that's the thing. It Any is. colour dress. I mean, even if you were on the fanciest cruise in the world and you were wearing a really big gown, yeah. something like this is going to One look One of the gowns elegant. like what you model. Yeah, maybe. Mm, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gem's taken some rather fabulous photographs that you might have seen on Facebook in beautiful purple gowns of just gorgeousness. And um, with a lovely sweeping open neckline, haven't you? <laughs> La How many left, sorry, darling? All oh, four left. No, they are whooshing out of the door. They building. are whooshing out of the door, aren't they? And quite rightfully so. I can wholeheartedly recommend those myself. Fabulous. <laughs> Why did I get a... What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm rubbing my knee because I've tripped over. <laughs> I said, I've already 
reach that age where I won't trip over something, I've re hurt my knee. You know you've reached a certain age when every time you get up you go, oh, oh. oh no, I don't do it when I get up, I do it when I, when I, when I bend down or I'm in the shower, get my shower gel. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you had an accident at work? <laughs> You gotta have a laugh, haven't you? <laughs> right, I got some amethyst. Oh, lovely shape. They're oh. beautiful. They're gorgeous. Oh, these are lovely. Oh, I do like these. Lovely shape. Um, I'm guessing they're Zambian knowing us. I know what we're like. I know what we're like. No, get the price oh. if you can do four ninety five. Come <clears> on, <throat> pop it in. There's no point in making us wait for that. It's, it's, yeah, Zambian Amethyst. Oh. oh, my word. Look at that tone. I know. Look at that rich, 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 rich purple. Great shapes. Zambian. Best location. Absolutely genuine. Totally natural for a fiver. Every single one on a head pin as a charm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, add a little charm. Add as a little drop to the back of a necklace when you do the little extender. That would look lovely. Little finishing touch. Yep. Drop the earrings. Lovely. Cluster of them on some chains. Waterfall earrings. Yeah. Do a little cascade design. Oh, oh lovely. gosh. Tiara twist them with some oh, pearls. Oh, stop it. <laughs> you know, it, it, even, I've seen people do this recently, and I, it was a suggestion the other day, actually, where if you have a lovely house plant, and then you add, do a tiara twist with a gemstone of corresponding colour or contrasting colour and ha add it to the plant pot. It looks lovely. I like to see gemstones in the boutonniere or the uh, chest yeah. flower at weddings. It looks lovely, Because that's it? something that you can keep, whereas yeah. the flower might not survive. Exactly. It's beautiful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I don't need to ask you to check out. You're not da We're not daft, are we? Zambian amethyst. For a fiver. Fantastic. Oh, now this is Last Chance Saloon. 20 left on these barrels of turquoise. Ooh. With the golden coated black spinel. Or the golden colour coated pyrite. Or the golden pyrite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either mm -hmm. or. Get ready for the price point that will shock you. I tell you what, amethyst goes lovely with them. Turquoise, doesn't it? It really does. And yeah. You don't think to put those two colours together. Ten ninety-five. Oh yeah. Let me show you with. There you go. Look, oh, I just wanted to show you that because that just looks great, doesn't it? It's delicious. But again, like um, Gem said, if you want to go with the beautiful golden colour-coated uh, black spinel, lovely. Or my personal choice, if you want to go with the older. Uh, Golden colour coated pyrite. Granted, you need to treat yourself to the kit, but why not? I'm also thinking if I take those away for a second and just. Oh, Adam! Just remember, I've got the pyrite from the kit in the studio. He's tidying up and he might not know I've nicked the strand. Um, just if you've got the super duos, I'm not sure if they've sold out. They have gone. Imagine it with the halo celestial seed beads. Such a gorgeous oh, yeah. colour. With the super duos. Mm -hmm. Or how about this? Oh, now. Wow. I would not have thought of that. Do you like it, though? I love it. I thought you might. Wow. Should we do those next? Shall we? Go I'm going to show you those. Ah, oh, they look... Have I, just, have I just opened your eyes to a... Yes. Mm. Combination of a... New combination. Mm. <laughs> fab, 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 fab. Gorgeous neon appetite. There are only... We're in a little miss it or miss out. Producer Phil's missed out on telling us we're on a miss it, miss out. Seven chances left. I do think, Adam, when it comes to coloured gemstones, this has got to be one of the best colours on the planet. Oh, it absolutely is. It makes me think... I've never been to Greece, but of a Greek island... Santorini. Mate, when you see the pictures of Santorini with the little white houses and then the... Oh, isn't that where Ben was recently? Was he? Has he just been... Has he? Producer, uh, director Ben just been to Santorini. Not, not just, just, but this oh, year, I think. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. I, I really want to go to Santorini. Yeah. 
Oh, I've got work trip. Are there any gemstones in Santorini that we could theoretically I'm sure go we'll and find one. check out? I'd love, honestly, I really. Do you know what? I'm going to go to Santorini next year. There you go. There's my commitment. Live on telly, 2018. I'm going to go to Santorini. Even if I have to go me talk. Celeste says, yes, Celeste. <laughs> Yay, she says. You're liking that word today, aren't you, Celeste? Everything's celestial. It is. Yeah. But uh, we're liking it with the turquoise, aren't we? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We want to go on holiday too. In fact, we need to treat ourselves with the turquoise, treat ourselves with a neon appetite, book a holiday to Santorini. I think we should have a jewelry maker part. I uh, think you should work for the tourist board. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Do you know, at the very top of the show, the faceted white quartz. I know they've gone far, far away yeah. now, but that yeah, would yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Matt Bianco or Georgie Fan. I say yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I do. I say yeah, yeah. Gremlins. Gremlins. I'm an excited little munchkin. Oh, then, yeah, I'm, I'm an excited munchkin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, then I only get this. I'm going to do my French now. There are trois left. That was my French. Do you like it? <laughs> It was, like, it, was, it was like a Del Boy French. It was. <laughs> Pigeon French. Mange too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, T-Bar, we have beautiful black onyx, we have golden obsidian, we have morganite, we have chrome dark side. Can I choose? Yeah, of course you can. Can we have the golden obsidian? Yeah, Phil didn't actually say yes, you could, but I decided you could. Sorry! It's all right, I just thought if you've asked, you can, you, if you don't ask, you don't get your I life. never get to choose. Well, you did then. <laughs> Why did you choose the golden obsidian, Jim? Because it is immense and everybody should see it and hold it totally and agree. love it and nurture it and really get inside the gem and see just how gorgeous it is. I mean, when you see the optical effect in real life, Absolutely in the flesh, agreed. it's totally just agreed. outstanding, it's stunning. It really and is. It's such a big size. Because we, haven't, we can only show it you in a brightly lit studio. We can't show it you in natural daylight. We can give you a hint, very, very fine hint in this brightly lit studio, because it's going to look almost jet black. But the gorgeous thing, when you take those into natural daylight and you watch that optical phenomenon, <gasps> where the you can just see the, the gold coming through there look like a really caramel gold it's velvet it is and it will show it it's it will show it itself even more beautifully in natural daylight i mean we've had a beautiful crisp day here certainly in the west midlands and warwickshire i, I know my, my step that i got it down in dorset so hopefully most of the country's had a beautiful sunny day, day today really cold but um certainly here in the uk but very very bright sunshine hopefully for most of you and these would perform effortlessly in, in weather like today. They're stunning and brilliant price point. Do I want to squeeze in the Morganite? I always want to squeeze in Morganite. Always. And at the price point we're going to, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of those purchases where, if you don't mind me saying, it's almost, we don't have to justify it to ourselves because it's so naughty. I know what you mean. And sometimes naughty is nice. Oh, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> but he got ten available. When I say naughty, I'm talking just... You'd, you'd have to be on the naughty step. Oh, hang on, Gem's not happy. If you take that individual stone at the centre, 10 by 5 mil, I, I would pay £10 for a you 10 by both, 5 mate. mil Morganite. That's you and me both. Astonishing. <sighs> they are super-sized. They are absolutely natural. Nine ninety five. They're incredible. Oh, quickly, how many left? Oh, they're going to be gone in seconds. Absolute seconds. Brilliant. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Hey, um, I'm about to come home and see my lovely friend. Hello, lovely friend. Mwah. Just one. Mwah. Better. Do you want to go Swiss? Mwah. Mwah. Always. Well, we're only in Switzerland there for three kisses. In parts of France, they do too. Oh, I've never known it in France. Mm. Oh. Every time I go to Switzerland every, at Christmas time and, and skiing, it's, you meet all your friends out there and it's like, oh, you think, oh, here we go. Family four, family six. It takes you ages. That's what I've said now. When we go to Switzerland, walk in the house, get a drink first. So at least then, by the time you finish kissing everybody, you've at least got a glass of wine or something in your hand. That's what I think anyway. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. 
darling. When is one gracing one screens again? I'll be back on the Monday mid show. This Monday? Yes. Oh, we have not long to wait then. Oh, that's great. I'm thinking of setting up a bunk. <laughs> well, that's what we do. <laughs> or do what I do and have a dad that lives five minutes down the road. Very that convenient. Would be handy. Can I set your house, dad? <laughs> He's like, yes, yeah, fine. It's fine. I've got fresh sheets there tonight as well. Oh, Ooh, can't wait. High thread count. Mm. Oh, no, let me. Oh, no, he doesn't do high thread count. I do. My dad doesn't. <laughs> Bless me, but what? Um, so, yes, um, we're going to go for a little drink now, aren't we? As yes, we're we home. Little, 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 uh, little, little, little chin wag. Yeah, because when we're on telly, we don't get chance to do no. it. Um, sorry, now the stretching cap pendant, I don't have it here in the... There it is. Oh, has yeah. gone to a never-before-seen price point, so has the gold-plated. Five ninety five. Now, they've only ever been eight ninety five before. So if you know somebody that loves cats, lovely gift. And you've got it at the best price ever. Please join us at 8 o'clock bright and early tomorrow morning. I'll see you at 1. Take care. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs.